Hello friends. Welcome to Muse Fanfiction. How are you all? So in this video, we will see what if Naruto revived every powerful bloodline and became true heir of Rokudo. But before we start, if you want more amazing stuff like this, then be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Also if possible share this video with your friends. Now without wasting any more time, let's begin the story. The day of the Kyubi attack. Okay I'm skipping this since everybody knows what happened the only difference is that in this story Minato sealed both the yin and yang parts of the Kyubi's chakra into Naruto and the Uzumaki are descendants of the third and oldest child of the Rokudo Senen that inherited the his soul. So the youngest brother got the sage's body, the older got the eyes and the eldest child the daughter got the soul. I think this fits seeing as chakra is made from physical and spiritual energy and both the Senju and Uzumaki have something special about their chakra. Six years after the Kyubi attack, it was a normal day for Naruto as he walked down one of the streets of Konoha. If people were not glaring at him they were ignoring him Naruto wasn't sure what he preferred, his thoughts on the matter was cut short as a hand graped him and he was pulled into an ally before being knocked unconscious. Naruto later woke up in the middle of a large forest from the punch of his kidnapper. Well it seems the little demon brats finally awake, came the taunting voice of a young man with red eyes and shinobi uniform and just seeing the three tomo in the eyes Naruto knew it was an Uchiha. Now that you are awake I can begin getting a little justice for all the Uchihas that died because of you. Just as Naruto was going to respond the Uchiha silenced him by putting his hand over his mouth and then with his other hand pulled a siren filled with something red that he injected into Naruto's chest near the heart. This was hard to get but it's just perfect for killing little demons you see this the blood of the Shodaim Hokage so it will stop that annoying healing that you haven't kill you as it did those children that Orochimaru used it on so how does it feel to know you're going to die you little hell spawn. The Uchiha says as he brings Naruto up to his eye level something he regretted directly after as Naruto reached out and clawed at his face with his hand drawing blood as well as damaging the left eye. The Uchiha immediately drops the boy who runs of while trying to wipe of the red liquid that had gotten onto his face and in his eyes when he clawed the Uchiha. Back with the Uchiha the man was trying to decide if he should go after the boy or return home and make sure his eye wasn't damaged too badly in the end he decided that the brat wasn't worth the trouble as returned home to get some aid for his eye and keep his other on his best friend Itachi who has been becoming more distant from the clan recently. As for Naruto he have found his way back to the village and was now resting in his bed not knowing the effect this event would have on his life. Inside the Kyubi's seal. Inside of the seal the Kyubi was awake and at work dealing with the new DNA his host now had in his body both from the injection and the blood that he got in his eyes. At first the fox was just going to try and destroy it but that was easier said than done. Also the Senju DNA gave of a calming feeling that Fox found he enjoyed so in the end he decided to use the situation to take care of three problems the first was making his stay here more enjoyable thanks to the Senju DNA, the second was keeping his host alive and third make it so that Madara would have more trouble with extracting and controlling him than he can handle. All of this wouldn't be too hard as not only are the DNA of the Uzumaki. Uchiha and Senju responding very well to each other but out of all the biju it was the Kyubi's chakra that was the most suited for affecting living things even if it was most often used harm and not heal. It was also during this time the Kyubi managed to pull Naruto into the mindscape in order to have a talk with his host. Huh, where am I? Naruto said as he appeared in what looked like a sewer. Over here kid come we have some things to talk about, came the loud booming voice of the fox. A moment later Naruto was in front of the cage holding the Kyubi. Kyubi, I take it that you are sealed inside of me and that is the reason for all the nice names I get called from time to time, Naruto says a somewhat bored tone as he looks at the giant fox. What an eye interesting response but I'm not that surprised after all I've been with you your whole life so I've always known that you are far smarter than you let on, the fox says while looking down on his container. Naruto just smile in response before asking. So Kyubi-sama for what reason did you want to talk to me for? As he sits down in the water, Kyubi grins before saying, First of all call me Kyo and I was wondering if maybe we could find some way to make our stay together a bit more enjoyable for the both of us. Naruto simply smiles some more as he says, Please do tell for I'm all ears. Kit something tells me the two of us are going to get along just fine, Kyo says before he and Naruto continue to talk all night long. Outside the seal. 
As Naruto is busy talking with his new friend his body is experiencing some changes nothing much just getting a LTTLE bit taller. Nails and teeth becoming more like an Inazuka's however. His eyes changed a lot first a Sharingan appeared in his left eye and a Rinnegan in his right before they both faded and then came back in each other places after that they changed again turning into grayish red Rinnegans with three Tomo on each of the second circle after that it looked like some kind of thin second layer grew and covers the eyes from view before taking the appearance of a normal Rinnegan except it has a clear sky blue color after that the eyes finally return to normal. That night for some reason Naruto smiled as he sleep all the way to the morning. Konoha Park one month after the first chapter. Naruto was sitting in a tree at the park watching the other children play as he himself was wondering if anyone of them would be joining him at the academy in five weeks. As he thinking about this a small bird came and landed on his shoulder. Well now what do you have for me today my little Tori, bird, Naruto asked the bird turned its head towards him showing its small grayish blue Rinnegan eyes before dropping a look of hair and then fly of. Naruto made a small frown at the info he gained when the bird looked into the his eyes. Apparently the hair was from a little boy in water country named Rinmara who has impressive eyes but sadly a rather weak body. So Kyo-sensei do you think you can do anything with this? Naruto mentally asked his tenant. I'm not sure I'll see what I can do so until then just be patient and see if you can find something else to parokopy your time with, was the demon's response as Naruto put the hair in his mouth and swallowed. Naruto closed his eyes and started to think on what to do in order to forget this latest disappointment. Now you are probably wondering what this was all about well the thing is that since Kyo could make Naruto's body gain the Mokuden, Sharingan and Rinnegan then he could most likely do the same with other bloodlines but they soon learned that was not the case after trying to get the Byakugan. Kyo had discovered that at most he would be able to add a small fraction of another dujutsu to Naruto's eye any more would result in the eyes hurting like hell and the improvements being rejected. Body-based bloodlines however would be easier to deal with but only a few would get added completely others would end up as weaker or incomplete versions. Chakra-based ones could easily get added the problem however was that Naruto didn't really need them in the first place as his Rinnegan not only allowed him to use the all the Godai Seishitsu Henka. 5 elements nature transformations asterisk but thanks to the senju dna the rinnegan also lets him combine them without too much trouble still adding the other bloodline would make all of them easier and more effective since the potency of elemental affinities would increase and also mix together easier as naruto was just sitting there he was close at o falling asleep but quickly became alert when he felt a small pulse of chakra now normally he wouldn't care as things like that was common in a ninja village but naruto having to deal with kyubi haters more than once turned to where the pulse came from and used his eyes that now had bit of the byakugan's telescopic vision and what he found was not what he was expecting Kurom Kumojin a proud and powerful, or at least that's what he likes to think, Jonan of Kumovikar was positioned near one of the park in Konoha hiding while going over his self-appointed mission in his head and keeping an eye on his targets the clan heir of Konoha. He licks his lip while grabbing the item by his waist as a way keep a hold of his own confidence as the item was the main reason for this. The item is the asterisk Shichiseiken, seven star sword, asterisk one of the asterisk Rakuto Senen no Hogu, treasured tools of the Sage of the Six Paths, asterisk that Kumo had collected. The Shichiseiken was given to his grandfather by the Nadaim Rakage after the death of the Kinjin Kyodai, gold and silver brothers, asterisk and has since then stayed in the family but now was at risk of being taken away after the failure and death of his brother in his mission to steal the Byakugan two years ago and that cannot be allowed it was his. Nobody else was more worthy but for some reason the Rakage doesn't understand but soon he and everybody else in Kumo would see the greatness of the Kumojin and then. You do realize that you're thinking out loud don't you? Naruto said in a deadpan voice as he stood behind the Kumo Shinobi causing him freeze up a few seconds before turning around. Huh, you're just a, whatever get lost brat I don't have time for you. That from now on I'm going to call him Baka, Baka said before he saw Naruto making five hand seals before saying. Asterisk Inten Genjutsu. Sakai no Yami, Yin Release Illusion. World of Darkness Asterisk. And with that the Baka could no longer see or hear causing him to freak out, start to slash around with a kuni and finally trip over a root making Naruto sweat drop. Is this guy for real? Evanon Academy student can get. Out of this just pulse your chakra or use the Genjutsu. Kai illusion release asterisk once to get back your hearing. And then again to get back your sight in fact it would. 
most likely break if you channeled more than a D-ranked jutsu's worth of chakra. Naruto mentally deadpanned as he reached down and graped the Baka's head and started to use the mind-reading abilities of the asterisk ninjendo, human path asterisk, just in case you don't know the main body can use the path's abilities as shown by Nagato in his battle with Hanzo where he repealed a lot of kunai with something similar to the asterisk tendo, diva path asterisk, to steal any useful information he may have while also talking to Kyo. So how dose the fact that you took down a Jonin feel? I really don't think this guy counts as a Jonin seeing as apparently he used his father and grandfather's glory and fame along with the reputation of the sword to worm his way up the ranks this guy only has two jutsu besides the basic three of all villages and only has a low chunin training in kenjutsu as he only knows half of the sword style he was taught. While this guy sucks big time, I know but anyway I'm finished so let go home, what about the body? Hum how about we give him a nice and proper burial, really? Fuck no let's just leave him here to rot. Naruto told the fox before pulling out the Baka's soul, picking up the sword and other equipment and then started walking home. Unknown to Naruto someone had been watching him and had been sitting frozen in fear when Naruto meet the Baka as memories from two years ago came back, that person was Hanata Hayuga who just sat and watched as the same boy who saved her from a group of bullies a year ago now most likely saved her again from one of the bad men that wants to take her away somewhere. It wasn't until an hour later when a branch family member came and said that it was time to go home that she regained the ability to move and later when she had fallen asleep in her bed the name she once heard the Hokage call him one time in the park a few weeks ago was something she repeatedly mumbled in her sleep, Naruto-kun. The next day, that morning Naruto could be found in a clearing surrounded by trees training in using his new sword with the help of the sword style that he had take out of the Baka's head. Another thing was the power of the sword itself which Kyo had a good amount of info on then again he was part of the thing sealed inside the sword original owner so that not to strange seeing as in this story. The Kyubi unlike the other more mindless biju also has large parts of the Jubi's memories the most well known thing about the sword is what it can do when used Togheader with the other tools by having the asterisk Kokonjo golden canopy rope asterisk pull out someone's soul and then use the shichisaken to cut off and curse the soul after that the soul would be recorded by the asterisk benihisago crimson gourd asterisk after that if the cursed one breaks the words curse say the word they said the most in their lives they would be sucked into the benihisago there might be something after that involving one of the two remaining tools but kyo is having a hard time remembering at the moment however he does recall that the sword has more than one curse in fact there are six curses and one anti-curse giving it a total of seven curses yes it's a lot but it is called the seven star sword for a reason the curses are the word curse the standard curse that sucks the victim into the gourd if they say their most used word this is also the only one that you need to cut the soul with the others will still activate if you cut the body this is also the only curse that is used since nobody knows how to use a different one. The illusion curse. When the victim is cut by the sword they will slowly start to hallucinate and most likely going mad after some time. The beast curse. When the victim is cut by the sword they will slowly start to turn into an animal what kind is a bit random mostly something fitting for the one cut. The penance curse. When the victim is cut by the sword they will force to experience all the pain both physical and emotional that they have inflicted upon other for unjust reasons, so things like self-defense or things like that doesn't count, and if enough, like for someone as Orochimaru, it might even kill the victim. The no evil curse. When the victim is cut by the sword they will hear someone in their head say see no evil. Hear no evil and speak no evil and then lose the ability to see, hear and speak, the misfortune curse. When the victim is cut by the sword they will have extremely bad luck all the time for seven years, so it's the same as breaking a mirror, and the seventh and last curse the anti-curse. The user can by wishing for it make the names of those cursed appear on the sword and then by speaking their names release them from whatever curse they're under. The last thing about the sword is that the illusion, beast, penance, no evil and the misfortune curses can only be used once a week each no matter what day they were used so if you use all five of them then you won't be able to use them again until the end of Saturday and beginning of Monday and that in order to chose which curse you want you will have to say its name shortly before the cut, during the cutting or shortly after you cut the victim.
In short it is a powerful and nobody would know that it is the Shichiseiken as Naruto had found a way to form a connection between the sword and his Rinnegan and can now summon and change its form whenever he wants and has now changed it into a completely new form, it now looks like the cursed sword that Saga has in the One Piece movie Curse of the Sacred Sword. As Naruto was training another one of the little animal spies that he had summoned came into the clearing this time it was a lizard but it didn't have anything with it but that okay after while they don't have naruto's sharing and abilities they can still see chakra and observe as people train and when naruto made eye contact with it he smiled as it scampered of before continuing his sword training while looking at his new memories making sure to pay close attention to what the sandame suchikage was saying as he was teaching his granddaughter i was secret flying jutsu naruto was happy no scratch that he was very happy why because he had been given a gift from two gods that had come down to earth in the forms of a silver-haired cyclops and green humanoid-shaped thing with two fuzzy caterpillars on what most likely is its head. Flashback to earlier that day. Naruto was just been sighting at a nice little restaurant enjoying the free food he had persuaded, in other words sharing in mind control, the owner to give him as a reward for joining the academy tomorrow however he then looked out the window and saw the two strangest people he had ever seen before apparently having a contest of some sort. Yash my eternal rival it is your turn to decide what youthful challenge we will have this time. The green thing shouted out towards the silver haired one standing just a short distance away. Hum okay how about the first one to go and get a mission from the Hokage without moving his feet from this spot wins. The silver haired one said with a lazy voice. Very well Kakashi but be ready for I shall win this but if I lose then I will. And with that the green one started ramble on about all the things he will do if he loses not seeing Kakashi form a cross shaped hand seal creating a clone that starts jumping towards the Hokage tower. Nobody ever saw the blonde boy's eyes change back to normal after he had used the Sharingan part of his eyes as soon as he had seen Kakashi bring his hands together. Flashback over. After trying out the new jutsu Naruto quickly learned of the memory transfer ability and nearly cried of happiness as he now no longer had to deal with a problem that had been bugging him for a long time now. You see Naruto has had a hard time choosing just what to train in after all should he train his dujutsu one of the many jutsu that his little spies had analyzed, one of his elemental bloodlines or maybe he should try and make a new jutsu for one of his many elements not to mention training his body in short there was just too many things for him to do all by himself. But now about a hundred Naruto's can be found at the training ground farthest from the rest of the village all doing one thing or another such as chakra control exercises that Naruto read about in the library after getting the old librarian fired because she refused to let him be there. The real Naruto was at the moment sparring with two of his clones while wearing weights and was doing rather well until the clones started using jutsu. Asterisk Koton. Shintozanobo's steel release. Impervious armor asterisk one of the clones called out as the skin on its hands and arms turn into an almost black dark gray color. Asterisk Raiden. Jibashi lightning release. Electromagnetic murder asterisk the other clone said as it sent out a wave of electricity at the original. In the end it didn't help at all as the original raised his hands towards the two clones just as they called out the their jutsu and two black diamond marks overlapping each other appeared on each of his hands. Asterisk Maiden. Kyukatsuko, Dark Release. Inhaling Ma, Asterisk and with that the two clones along with their jutsu were sucked into the original's hands. With the fight over Naruto sits down thinking on what to do next before he goes to sleep as he will be going to the academy tomorrow. His thoughts were interrupted however as one of his summoned birds appeared out of thin air. Something his spies can do now that he discovered that the animal path lets him use something called asterisk zofuku kuchios no jutsu amplification summoning technique, asterisk this is a summoning technique that in which the summoned creature is given a special condition and when that condition is met it gains a certain ability, in this case it is that Naruto's spy summons becomes hidden in a jutsu that hides them from sight and chakra sensing when near people with chakra other than Naruto. The bird had what Naruto could tell was a piece of a bandage with some blood on it and after making eye contact in order to gain its memories he was surprised and happy to know that it was from a person with a bloodline that lets one use an element that Naruto has been trying to recreate ever since Kyo told him about it, the bloodline that allows the crystallization of all matter the asterisk shot and crystal release asterisk. After consuming to the blood Naruto decided that he had done enough for today and after getting into bed dispelled his clones letting the info backlash knock him out. Next day, hey wake up kid it's time for you to go the academy, 
Hyo said as he woke his host little brother figure. Naruto yawned and nodded as he got out of the bed, ate breakfast and got dressed, speaking which Naruto was now wearing a pair of dark blue shinobi pants and a light blue with purple trim Chinese shirt also his hair had changed a bit, not sure how to describe it but just thing Ichigo's. Hair when he fight Aizen after mastering Zanjetsu but instead of orange it's the same blonde as always before heading of towards the academy. As Naruto left his apartment he made a large amount of cage bunchons that he sent to different locations that he knew people rarely if ever visited as well as a large group to the library under Henges. The Academy As Naruto entered the academy he could already hear how many of the adults there warned their kids to stay away from him. After that he found his classroom and sat down along with all the other kids waiting for the teacher. While he was waiting he could feel someone watching him so he started to look around to see who it was. The first person that stood out was a loud boy with two red tattoos on his cheeks and a puppy on his head, this was one of the clan children his name is Kiba Inazuka. After that came and a platinum blonde girl who was arguing with a pink haired girl over a raven haired kid whom Naruto recognized as the younger brother of Uchiha Itachi but none of them is the one he felt so he ignored them. After that there was a F.A. air big boned kid, a lazy kid with pineapple shaped hair, a quiet kid who was looking at a bug and then he saw her. She was wearing a baggy jacket, had indigo colored hair and a pair of pretty white eyes. Then they made eye contact and the girl became a whole new shade of red when Naruto smiled and waved at her and just after she did the same back the teacher came into the classroom. Hello everyone my name is Aruka and I am going to be your teacher for the 8 years you're all going to be here, the now named Aruka said as all the kids got ready for an exiting lesson. Now then let's have an introduction so we will all know each other and then we can start our first lesson. History, Aruka declared happily ignoring the children's disappointed faces. It was the start of something that would bore many into insanity. The Academy, it has been a month since Naruto was seriously questioning the competence of the school board as he found the lessons to be severely lacking. He had found a few things that he enjoyed like playing shogi with the lazy kid and quiet kid whose names he had learned was Shikamaru and Shino. Naruto also enjoyed talking with the white-eyed girl named Hinata trying to help her with her shyness as well as making her blush as he found her incredibly cute when she does that. He had also found someone to help him train his body, it was the same green thing he saw the day he copied the cage bunch and the thing was made a guy. Flashback. Two weeks ago. Naruto had just arrived at one of the normally unused training ground where he discovered that it was already being used by someone. Yash, and once I've punched this log 200 time I will oh hello there, guy said as he noticed Naruto entering the training field. Hi, Naruto answered, and what would a youthful young boy like you be doing here at this youthful training field? Gasp, wait, don't tell me I can already guess that you are here to fan your flames of youth. Guy said as he shouted the last part. Reed sure let's go with that, Naruto says in a somewhat freaked out tone as he tried to decide if he should run away or not. Yash, then I the beautiful green beast of Konoha shall assist you in your attempt to fan your flames of youth. Guy shout as he appears in front of Naruto and makes a nice guy pose. For some reason I'm starting to wish that I ran away, thinks a really freaked out Naruto. Flashback ends. However he has also discovered something disturbing about himself. While his life has been getting better it didn't change the pain and hardship he suffered when he was younger and hadn't met Kyo. He suppressed the pain, anger and other negative emotions that he felt and that in turn created something inside of him. This being is a problem as it causes a kind of spiritual instability in his soul preventing him from gaining full control over all the Rinnegan's abilities one of which is the ability as the six paths of transmigration that will let him have more than one body. But he already knew a way to get rid of it as all he needed to do was let the it out and it would start to fade away along with the suppressed emotions and even though he didn't like the result of letting it out he needed to do it otherwise it would just grow and most likely cause some serious problems in the future. In fact today was one of the days he would be letting it out which is why he wasn't very happy when the academy ended for the day. That night. Naruto was walking toward a house near the center of Konoha it wasn't his no the reason he was going there was because of who lived there. Iwamaru now Iwamaru Tate once a fellow orphan and now soon to be corpse. The reason was that back during Naruto's time in the orphanage he was constantly being bullied by that fat little bastard and Iwamaru also kept stealing food and putting the blame on him. 
And now that which Naruto has come to call Yami Naruto wants revenge. It was easy for Naruto to enter the house as the family there were civilians and once he was inside Iwamaru's room the cast a noise blocking jutsu and then the execution began. Hey asshole wake up, Naruto said as he kicked Iwamaru of the bed. Wow what the hell, what are you doing in fact why the hell are you here? Iwamaru shouted as he looked at the one who had woken him up. Long story short I have some pent up anger and stuff that I'm going to take out on you for all the shit you put me through back at the orphanage a few years ago, Naruto answered as he sent a pooch into Iwamaru's jaw breaking it. After that Naruto continued to hit, kick and hurt the fat boy getting angrier as more and more painful memories appeared in his head but with each injury inflicted upon Iwamaru the memories started to fade. An hour later Iwamaru was nothing more than a bloody and whimpering mess when Naruto finally decided to end it and preformed five hand seals making a baseball sized orange sun appear in his hand. Shikuden. Das we no she, scorch release. Death by dehydration asterisk Naruto stated as he threw the mini sun at Iwamaru's now still form which shortly after that started to look like a mummy without it bandages. After that Naruto simply left a explosion tag with a four minute time delay and headed home. Once Naruto laid down on the bed he just closed his eyes. Naruto's Mindscape The Mindscape once a sewer and now a field full of grass with a big ass fox with nine tails sleeping in the middle of it. So the fat bastard is gone. Naruto heard someone say from behind him making turn around causing him to come face to face with, himself except more angry looking and transeparate. Yeah so that makes it five people now the orphanage matron, that one store owner those two chunins and now Iwamaru, Naruto answered his darker self. You know I wouldn't mind another two kills or so but it's not worth it, Yami Naruto says before he hold out his hand to Naruto. Naruto simply smiles sadly and grabs Yami Naruto's hand making him turn into blackish purple dust that is absorbed into Naruto's body accepting his darkness before leaving his mindscape. Hyo lazily opens his right eye and thinks. Yeah it's finally time for him to learn the one of the Rinnegan's most powerful abilities, the six paths of Trank migration, I'll teach it to him tomorrow, before falling asleep again. Naruto was sighting at his desk in the academy, it has been a little more than a month since he had accepted and absorbed his inner darkness and been told how to use the six paths ability of his Rinnegan which he had used two weeks ago. Flashback two weeks ago, forest clearing. Naruto was meditating in the forest near an abandoned shed preforming hand seals while listening to Kyo. Okay kid once you feel that you have memorized the hand seals we can begin and get ready this jutsu is both tiring and painful but out of the three versions the Rukodu Senen made this one was far better than the one that used standard clones or dead bodies, Kyo says as Naruto opens his eyes and walks into the middle of the clearing. He preforms up to 30 hand seals and calls out, asterisk Rinnegan on my Oden Hinjutsu. Rene Bunshin's Rinnegan Yin Yang release secret technique. Samsara clones asterisk. And with that chakra bursts out from his body and splits into six human sized orbs that slowly starts to take human form. While all of this was happening Naruto had fallen on his knees and was gritting his teeth in pain as it felt as if he was being ripped apart both physically and mentally. After an hour of the torture's experience he finally recovered enough to see the results of his jutsu, and there they were his six paths all looking just like him. Naruto quickly noticed that their eyes were completely blank. Hey Kyo what gives why are their eyes blank and why can't I control them, Naruto asked his favorite giant Furby. You haven't connected them to yourself yet so just go to one, look it in the eyes, place your hand over its heart and channel your chakra into it, Kyo said while he did whatever it was he was doing at the moment. Naruto followed the instructions and soon he was looking with two pairs of eyes. After getting used to this new dual perspective of the world he proceeded to do the same to his other paths after which he started to practice in controlling them something that wasn't all that easy. Well this may take a while, Naruto says as he scratches the back of his head only to sweat drop as he saw and felt himself and all his paths do the same. Flashback ends. Since then he has learned how to use his paths without much trouble as well as learned the difference between the different version the Rokudo Senen created. The first just used normal clones like water, earth or shadow clones the good thing about this version was that the paths were easily replaceable but they were too easy to destroy and couldn't fully use their abilities without risking dispelling from the large amount of power. 
The second version used the corpses of others, this kind was harder to destroy but needed chakra receivers to work and the paths became weaker the farther away from the main body they went along with almost only being able to use their path abilities. The one Naruto is using was the last version the Rokudo made this one had no problems when it comes to the range between the paths and main body nor was the paths limited to just their standard abilities as inside Naruto's mindscape there are six statues each with a scroll with the status and info of its path on it that can be used to change the paths in different ways not only that but the paths are just as real as Naruto's main body and has the same strength speed and the like and if that should change then naruto can use an ability called synchronization to fix that finally the connection between all the bodies work both for chakra as well as nourishment so if one eats something then it's like they all had something to eat here is the status and some info on his paths some of the things here i have made up myself and the rest i have learned from things like narutopedia first of all each path along with their special abilities has one of the main elements they will also be able to each use up to two sub-elements connected to that element however any other kind even non-elemental jutsu will be very difficult. It is possible for the path that has the yin-yang element to preform some jutsu and then send it away with the link that all the paths share allowing them to use it but only some kinds of jutsu like for example the henge transform asterisk also the one with the yin-yang element can only use one sub-element but it can anything the user wants and finally all of the paths can create the chakra receiver metal. All the paths are dressed in hooded Akatsuki-like robes but without the red clouds and wearing masks like the Anbu. Tendo, Diva Path, Elements. Onmyoden, Yin Yang Release, Asterisk, Shoten, Crystal Release, Asterisk. Some of its Jutsu. Shinra Tensai, Almighty Push, Asterisk. Repels everything around the user and has a 5 seconds recharge limit also a overpowered version can be used but the recharge will take longer. Bansho Tenen, Universal Pull, Asterisk lets the user pull anything towards himself and has a 5 seconds recharge limit. Chibaku Tensai, Planetary Devastation, Asterisk, creates a black orb of gravity that is launched into the sky and will then pull the nearby earth, rocks and anything else to it in order to create it a moon. Shinra Seiatsu, Almighty Subjugating Pressure, Asterisk, increases the gravity in the area around the user for 10 seconds but has a recharge limit of 1 second time the increase of gravity, max 10 times normal gravity. Made by me but I wouldn't be surprised as someone came up with the same or a similar idea. Ura Shinra Seiatsu, reversed almighty subjugating pressure, asterisk, increases and then reverses the gravity in the area around the user for 10 seconds but has a recharge limit of 1 second time the increase of gravity, max 10 times normal gravity. Made by me but I wouldn't be surprised as someone came up with the same or a similar idea. Bansho Hokai, universal collapse, asterisk, the user grabs the target and creates a small gravity orb inside that starts to pull it in more and more making the target collapse or implode in upon itself but the user needs to grab and hold on to the target for 10 seconds. Made by me but I wouldn't be surprised as someone came up with the same or a similar idea. Earth plus fire plus water equals crystal release. Chikushodo animal path elements. Doden earth release asterisk. Mokudan wood release asterisk. Yoden lava release asterisk. Some of its jutsu. Zofuku Kuchio's no jutsu amplification summoning technique, asterisk. This is a summoning technique that in which the summoned creature is given a special condition and when that condition is met it gains a certain ability. Rokudo Kuchio's no jutsu, six path summoning technique, asterisk, summons the other paths. Water plus earth equals wood release, earth plus fire equals lava release. Gakido Preta path, elements. Sweden water release, asterisk. Hyoden, Ice Release, Asterisk, Ranton, Storm Release, Asterisk. Some of its Jutsu. Fujutsu Kyuin, Blocking Technique Absorption Seal, Asterisk. A highly advanced sealing technique that is capable of absorbing any chakra, regardless of any shape or nature transformation, and dispersing it within one's body by spinning the chakra within one's body in the opposite direction. As a result, this technique can absorb any ninjutsu-based technique, regardless of power, without harming the user. Should the user get close enough to grab the opponent, the barrier can absorb chakra right out of an individual's body, effectively draining them. Water plus wind equals ice release, lightning plus water equals storm release. Ninjendo, human path, elements. Futon, wind release, asterisk, shakudan, scorth release, asterisk, jinsukudan, swift release, asterisk. Some of its jutsu. 
Tamashi no Jokyo, removal of soul, soul removal, asterisk by placing their hand on a target's head this technique allows the user to learn everything that the target knows. Once this is done, the target's soul is ripped from their body, killing them but Naruto's Rinnegan is more advanced so the can chose to let them live. Tamashi no Koken, exchange of souls, asterisk the path will grab the heads of two individuals and then switch the mind and souls of the two giving them each other's body. Made by me but I wouldn't be surprised as someone came up with the same or a similar idea. Fire plus wind equals scorth release, wind plus lightning equals swift release. Shirado, Asura path, elements. Raiden, lightning release, asterisk. Asterisk Bakudan, explosion release, asterisk. Jishikudan, magnetic release, asterisk. Some of its jutsu. Kaiwan no Haya, flaming arrow of amazing ability, asterisk. The path detaches and fires its hand like a chakra and it will act like a magnet, to draw the hand back for reattachment. It also functions to protect the hand, allowing it to severely damage rock, but not the hand itself. Kaiwandan, flaming arrow missiles, asterisk. The path pulls out its hand, which is revealed to be connected to the arm by a thick cord with missiles attached to it. The missiles then can be launched, causing massive explosions. These missiles can also come out of the path's body and be launched at the opponents directly with a homing effect. Hikari Bakatsu, light explosion, asterisk. The path opens up the upper right side of its chest, revealing a cannon of sorts. The cannon then releases a massive blast of chakra in the form of a laser, causing a powerful explosion that devastates the surrounding area. Not made by me it's just a modified version of Pain's laser explosion. Gihakai Bakudan, self-destruction bomb, asterisk. The path can if the need arises make itself explode with the force of up to 50 explosion tags. Made by me but I wouldn't be surprised as someone came up with the same or a similar idea. Lightning plus earth equals explosion release, lightning plus earth equals magnetic release. Jigokudo, Naraka path, elements. Kaden, fire release, asterisk, enten, blaze release, asterisk, footen, boil release, asterisk. Some of its jutsu. Yama no Surui Skugang, Yama's kind restoration, asterisk can heal others with the ghetto as long as they are still alive. Made by me but I wouldn't be surprised as someone came up with the same or a similar idea. Water plus fire equals boil release, lightning plus fire equals blaze release. Naruto can also use a ability called synchronization that is very useful when it comes to training physically for example if one path trained and became faster while another paths trained and became more flexible then once the synchronization has been preformed all the paths would change to match that and have the same speed and agility. And that's the status and info on Naruto's six paths. So Naruto is at the moment taking advantage of his new abilities by having the Asura path traveling fire country hunting down bandits to get real combat experience, the diva path was training with taijutsu with Gaiwo learned of his eyes and almost shouted it out to the whole village before Naruto made him swear on the flames of youth not to tell anyone and the Naraka path was at a training field with a bunch of cage bunshin. He himself was forced to sit here in the academy since Serutobi had discovered just what it was that has had Naruto so busy that he couldn't visit him or the ramen stand in so long. The Hokage was shocked to say the least when the boy he saw as a second grandson turned out to have the legendary eyes of the Sage of Six Paths and while he was happy the boy didn't show everyone in the whole village he still wished that Naruto would have told him but done is done so they decided to keep the Rinnegan secret until it would be a good time to reveal it. After learning of the mind-reading ability of Naruto's human path the Sande made it so it would that it would get a place with the interrogation department making Ibiki ohm of the few how knows of Naruto's Rinnegan. As for his remaining paths the Prada path was at Ichiraku eating ramen and the animal path was in the forest summoning new spies as well as waiting for the already existing ones to come back. However none of this changes how dull Aruka's history lesson is not to mention he's still getting used to his new mask that he wears since now the Rinnegan has grown stronger and is now permanently visible even on his second layer but it still hides the Sharingan part of his eyes along with protected them from things like dust or salt if he was underwater. Also his mask looks like the one Sojiro Kusaka has in the Bleach movie Diamond Dust Rebellion. How the hell will knowing this stuff help us out the field, what do you think Kanata? Naruto asks the Hyuga girl right next to him. W well I guess we see can learn from T their mistakes and successes and Naruto kun, the shy girl answered while growing red at talking with her crush. I would rather do something interesting like maybe spar with a cute girl like you, Naruto says with a smirk. 
Hanada didn't answer as she fainted from being called cute by her crush luckily Naruto caught her before she fell of her chair and had her sit in his lap for the rest of the now not so boring lesson. Kid you're only six and a half years old and you already have a girl in your arms I must say that I'm so proud of you, Kyo says with anime tears going down his face while waving flags that says, go kid go, and hooray for the perverts in Naruto's mindscape. Naruto just sweat dropped while thinking, why do I get the feeling that most of my teachers are going to be perverts and somewhere a silver-haired cyclops and a white-haired man dressed like a kabuki dancer sneezed alerting nearby female to their presence just outside the women's side of the hot spring, they left being less of a man than they were when they came. And that one more chapter anyway here is my first omaka. Sneak peek at the all-new Super Ninja Show. Naruto was just walking along in the middle of Konoha's marketplace when a sound nin a paired in a puff of smoke getting the attention of the people. Uzumaki Naruto my master has learned of your bloodline limit and wants it so now I have come to take you to Lord Orochimaru, the sound nin says apparently not noticing the people around them. Who? Naruto asks in a confused voice. You know Orochimaru I'm sure you have hear of him just think a little, the sound nin says. Everyone watched as smoke came out of Naruto's ear and turned into a white TV screen with a loudspeaker on each side. On the screen, on the screen you can see a clear blue sky with something small flying across it as music starts to play and a voice starts to speak in a dramatic tone. Faster than a Raiden Jutsu, stronger than a mad cow and gayer than a air okay there is nothing gayer than him but anyway it's Captain Pedophile. The voice says as the image zoom in on the small thing in the sky showing that it is Orochimaru flying like Superman, wearing nothing but his purple underwear and a purple cap. Wherever there are children unmolested and whenever that he thinks he can get away with it he will be there ready to mentally scar everyone around for life with his inappropriate actions. The voice says as the screen shows Captain Pedophile land in the middle of a kinder garden before shooting out his thong to grab one of the kids there and pull him toward himself after which he starts to remove the cloths of the kid that looks like a younger Sasuke. Then the screen goes black with the word, censored, on it in white. Back in Konoha, the TV dissolves into smoke and disappears and everyone just stares. Oh yeah, him, Naruto says. It's been almost two years since Naruto gained his paths and since then he has continued to train and improve even more, especially now that he has gained another teacher in the famous Uchiha Itachi who he meet when he visited the Hokage. He has also learned and changed a few things when it come to his paths the first was that while they can use the Sharingan, they each take chakra just like his original eyes so having them all use the Sharingan takes such an amount of chakra that even he can't keep them all on for an unlimited time. He also discovered that his paths were unable to use either Genjutsu or Fuenjutsu which was a shame since the Sharingan combined with the Kurama clan's affinity for illusions that he acquired some time ago would have made an impressive power but luckily Naruto managed to change his paths so that they could as well as made it easier for them to use non-elemental and pure chakra based jutsu however he had to remove one of each path's sub-elements to do so. But he felt that it was worth it since they had enough power in the ninjutsu department so now the only elements the paths can use are. Diva path with yin yang. Animal path has earth and wood. Prada path has water and ice. Human path has wind and swift. Asura path has lightning and magnetism. And Naraka path has fire and scorch. Speaking of paths four of them are outside of Konoha either hunting down missing nins training or looking for useful items and the like and was rather close to finding one since after training and improving his connection to the Shichiseiken he found out that he could somewhat sense the other four tools. He knew it wasn't the Kohaku no Johei, Amber Purifying Pot, asterisk since it was the only tool Kumo managed to take back from the Kinjin Kyodai as the hiding place for the Shichiseiken was found shortly after their death by pure chance and therefore doesn't count. His main body however was in Konoha along with his human and animal paths who were respectively interrogating people and receiving the reports from the spy summons before going up to train with one of his senseis. He has also assimilated a few new bloodlines such as the Kurama's illusion affinity and the Kagaya's asterisk Shikatsunyaku, dead bone pulse asterisk but it only gave his skeleton higher durability still it was better than nothing. And now Naruto was in the academy ignoring the lessons he most likely already knew after having his cage bunchens go wild in the libraries and instead placed his attention on the scroll on Fuenjutsu that he convinced the Hokage to give him after Kyo talked with Naruto about the Yandaimi and felt that having Naruto read some of his father's scrolls would be a good idea. 
Hum I wonder if that seal I was planning on creating is even possible. Naruto tucked to himself before flinching slightly at the pain of Itachi's fist in the animal path's stomach during a spar but then ignored it as for some reason whenever a path was hurt he only felt a sixth of the pain. Naruto. Pay attention. Came Uruka's shout complete with the giant demon head jutsu. Hum you say something Uruka sensei. Naruto asks in bored tone not even looking up from his scroll causing the rest of the class to laugh. Ha ha. It seems that the dead last is as deaf as he is stupid came the taunting voice of a dog ninja named Kiba who disliked Naruto both because he smelled like a fox and because he clearly had Hinata's affection which Kiba wanted for himself. Oh, so it was just Kiba trying to sound like he was not the runt of the litter okay then it's nothing important, Naruto said while still not looking away from the scroll. Kiba grew red with anger and would have said more if not for Aruka telling them to stop it and pay attention. As the class continued Naruto ignored it like he did with almost everything in the academy leading to him being ranked as the dead last not that it mattered as it would simply give him an advantage since his opponents would underestimate him. As the time for the academy to end for the day was drawn nearer Naruto turned to the shy girl next to him. Hey Hanada chan how would you like to train with me after school? Naruto asked both because he knew Kiba would hear him and get pissed and because he himself had developed a crush on the Hyuga princess. Hanada just blushed with a strawberry red color while she nodded not trusting her voice. Naruto smiled at her response and just sat back and waited for the bell to signal that it was time to leave. Somewhere near the borders of Lightning Country, both the Asura and Naraka paths finally found the place they had been looking for, it was a hidden cave with a large chest inside of it. It didn't take long for them to open it and take the item inside and as they looked at it, the item started to glow and change form before disappearing into Naruto's mindscape ending up right beside the Shichisaken as Naruto continued to connect with another one of the five Rakuto Senen no Hogu this time it being the Bashosen Banana Palm fan. Back at the academy Naruto just continued to smile, now if only Kyo could stop sending him images of a naked adult Hinata. And that one more chapter and soon it will get to the point where the real anime manga began and hopefully be a bit easier to write more. Now for the Omaka, the super pervert, Naruto was just sighting in the Hokage's office waiting for him to show up but then he got bored and started to play around with the Hokage's crystal ball. Suddenly the ball starts to glow and shots out a light that goes out the window and hit the Hokage monument and started to project a giant TV screen on the whole mountain. On the screen, the screen shows an image of Captain Pedophile as he was undressing the younger Sasuke when the dramatic voice starts to speak. In the last episode the great and gay Captain Pedophile was just about to molest a small boy when suddenly, Captain Pedophile is engulfed in a bright light and disappears. Somewhere else, Captain Pedophile appears in what looks like an abandoned brothel. What? Who is responsible for interrupting my fun time? The mighty pedophile yells out. It was I. A voice answered him as a shadowy figure appeared before him. Who are you? Captain Pedophile asks causing the figure to laugh. Who am I ha ha old friend do you not recognize me, I am the one, the only, the figure begins as the lights comes on making captain pedophile and the figure shout out at the same time. Super pervert, yes the he was the white haired super pervert Jiraiya wearing noting but his sandals, a red cape and a pair of really nerdy glasses also he had the words, want some of this. Painted on his chest with an arrow under them pointing at his private parts that were only covered by a green loincloth. Captain Pedophile I have called you here to tell you of a great evil that is even now plotting our demise, they have in fact already gotten rid of our comrade the legendary sucker by making her sober so now nobody can take advantage of the fact that she always dreams that she is trying to suck out the last sake in her bottle when she has fallen unconscious from the alcohol, the super pervert says while crying near the end. By my eight tentacle penises what kind of sick and evil monsters would to such a thing? Captain Pedophile whispers in shock but the super pervert hears him and answered. I'm not sure old friend but I believe we both know someone who has the answers we seek, the super pervert says as he walks up to something covered in a large sheet. You are referring to our great and wise teacher are you not? Captain Pedophile asks as the super pervert pull away the sheet. Indeed the fantastic and horny monkey man Sarutobi himself now get into the pervo mobile, the super pervert yells. That's just a double-seated bike, Captain Pedophile deadpans. Air, well you see I kinda, spent all my money on porn and hookers, anyway let's go. 
Super Pervert says before he and Captain Pedophile rides out of the brothel and into the sunset. Back in Konoha, it projection ends and Naruto leaves felling that he can wait till tomorrow to speak with the Hokage. Not a single word was said in all of Konoha for the rest of the day. Here is a list of jutsu I have made myself, but to be honest I wouldn't be surprised if someone already came up with the same or similar ones. Jinsukuden. Kasuku Hasha, Swift Release. Height Speed Projectile Asterisk. When this jutsu is used any projectile that the user fires will gain a light yellow aura and move several times faster than it would normally. Shikuden. Dasui no Shi, Scorch Release. Death by dehydration asterisk makes a baseball-sized orange sun appear in the user's hand that he can punch with or throw at the opponent, the sun will evaporate any water that is contained inside whatever it hits. Jishikuden. Jikina Sakai, magnetic release. Magnetic world asterisk when this jutsu is used a low-level magnetic field is created over the area the user is in, this makes all Jishikuden jutsus easier and less taxing to use. Rinnegan Hinjutsu Onmyoden. Rinne Bunshins. Rinnegan Secret Technique Yin Yang Release. Samsara Clones Asterisk. Creates six real flesh and blood clones identical to the original. Each of the six bodies can only use one element fire, water, earth, wind, lightning and yin yang, and two of its sub-elements along with their path abilities and there is no range for how far away the paths can be from the main body. Path Jutsu. The Hokage's Office. It seems that things are just getting worse and worse aren't they Itachi-kun? The Sandame asks the raven-haired youth standing in front of him. Sadly yes, it appears that my clan is not going to change their mind about the coup not to mention they are suspicious of me and have sent Shisui to keep an eye on me, Uchiha Itachi answered. Well ain't that a fucking bitch, Naruto said he came into the office without knocking as usual scaring the crap out of the two older ninjas. Wa and Naruto how much did you hear and how are you even here I told my secretary that I was not to be disturbed. Serutobi asks while Itachi puts away the kanai he had pulled out when Naruto first entered the room. First of all I heard everything from, it seems, too, eye on me, secondly your secretary never lets me see you so I ignore her and thirdly it's not like I'm unaware of the whole Uchiha ku thing seriously I have told you about my spy's old man, Naruto answers. Sights right I forgot, Serutobi says. So out of curiosity, after the apparently inevitable Uchiha clan's demise how are you going to deal with the council's most likely demand for a Kakashi wannabe army? Naruto asks while pulling out a candy bar. Kakashi wannabe, army, Serutobi and Itachi both says with a confused tone. Rolls eyes, yeah, do you guys really think that once all those Uchihas are dead someone on the council won't get the bright idea that if every Konoha shinobi has a Sharingan like Kakashi then Konoha would be able to attack and take over the world or something like that? Naruto asks as he opens up the candy bar. This question made the two shinobi think and was mentally kicking themselves for not thinking about that as well. He is correct Hokage-sama that is a very likely thing to happen once my clan is dead. Itachi admits pausing a bit near the end about his family's soon-to-be-deceased status. Yes this causes a problem since any transplant of a Sharingan without the original owner's approval has always lead to different mentally problems for the receiver, Serutobi admits knowing that many won the council will ignore that fact and still order the transplants to be made. And I would not have enough time to both put an end to the coup while also making sure all the Sharingans are destroyed, Itachi says. And it's not like I can follow you. Take the Sharingans, use the seal on my stomach to pull them into my mindscape and by doing so keep them out of the wrong hands as well as use them to help me control the Kyubi's chakra, not that I would need it with Mr. Giant Furby, hey. And I being on such good terms but they don't need to know that since it would only give them a heart attack, Naruto says with a sarcastic voice while mentally adding the last part as well as ignoring Kyo's shout of indignity. Picking up on the sarcastic tone and what he really means both Serutobi and Itachi first tried to argue but had to agree when Naruto pointed out that there was no one else with the ability to pull stuff into his mindscape that they could turn to. The next day, today was the day when the Uchiha clan would fall by the hands of one of their own. Naruto however was inside of the Uchiha compound of all places looking at the body of the infamous asterisk Shunshin no Shisui, Shisui of the body flicker asterisk. Chuckles softly, I know that it was far from what you intended but I am grateful for what you did Shisui if you hadn't tried to kill me that day then I doubt I would be anywhere near the level of power I have now, 
Naruto says as he looks at the unmoving body before continuing. Still just because I'm grateful doesn't mean that I like or even respect you but I just wanted to let you know that I'm not doing this out of revenge or because I think you owe it to me, I'm doing it because it's a golden opportunity that I'm simply taking advantage of, Naruto finishes before moving his hand to Shisui's face. Later on when some clan members come by they couldn't find anything wrong but something had changed about Shisui, his eyes were now open and two Sharingan eyes could be seen. With Naruto. Hey kid. Kyo says to get his host's attention. Hum yes what is it? Naruto asks as he appears inside his mindscape. Speaking of his mindscape it no longer looked like sewer but instead is a large palace with the throne room having six statues each holding a large scroll standing behind the throne which Naruto was sighting in as Kyo laid on a giant pillow in front of him. Why did you give him those eyes after you removed his original ones? Kyo asks lizily. Because I seriously doubt that someone else won't come and try to take those eyes as out of all the Sharingans in the clan Nan have that rare and powerful ability this way we will know thanks to that special little thing that was added to them, Naruto answered. Right and what was it we added I kinda forgot, Kyo admits somewhat sheepishly. We will be able to track the eyes and tap into the senses and memories of the one with the eyes and if need be make the eyes release a poison that will cause blindness Naruto explains. Suddenly he hears a girl's voice calling his name and gets up and disappears from his mindscape ignoring Kyo waving a flag that says, Go Pervo Power. Outside the mindscape, Hanada was blushing as she gently shook her crush in order to wake him. Hum yes Hina-chan, Naruto asks enjoying the cute face she make when she hears the nickname. I I was wondering w what we would be practicing today and Naruto-kun. The shy Hayuga shuddered out causing Naruto to smile as she is just too cute for him not to. Oh nothing too big a deal just some taijutsu, a little bit of chakra control but first we're going to fix that shyness of despite how cute it make you look, Naruto says to the blushing girl. B but how will you ah? W w what are you ha? D doi a ah ha ah ha ha. Whatever she was trying to say was drowned by the sound of her laughing as Naruto had pinned her down and was now tickling her and it just so happens that she was very ticklish. Now then if you want me to stop you're gonna need to promise to be more confident, courageous and be my girlfriend, Naruto says with smirk. Waha I kahahan just haha okay haha I promise a h a a h a h a. Hanada manages to yell out making Naruto stop tickling and get of her. What was all that about? Hanada demands while actually giving Nartuo a glare. Just a cure for your shyness, Naruto responds with a happy tone. A cure, that's what you call that torture it was far from a cure it it, worked, Hanada says shocked as she notices that her shuddering was gone. Yep even if I find your shuddering to be super cute your voice is just as beautiful without it and now it is easier to hear what my girlfriend is saying. Naruto said enjoying the look on Hinata's face when she hears him say girlfriend and recalls that she did in fact promise to be his girlfriend during the whole tickling thing. You want me to be your girlfriend? You like me? Hinata asks shocked that her feelings for her crush would be returned even before she had a chance to confess them in the first place. Laugh softly kefu fu 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 hina chan if you would look up that you can see the answer yourself. Naruto says, and yes I gave him Rokudo Mukuro. Laugh from Katakyo Hitman Reborn cause both since both are awesome. Hanada was confused but looked up anyway and her eyes went wide and her jaw dropped as somehow the few only clouds in the sky conformed themselves so that you could read, Naruto plus Hanada equals love forever. In short Naruto had somehow written a love letter in the freaking sky. Hanada just stood there and stared until she let out a loud eep sound when Naruto sat down pulling her with him making her sit in his lap. Now then how about we just talk for a bit a get to know each other a bit better, Naruto says. Hanada just nodded since she just couldn't seem to form any words at the moment. Back at the Uchiha compound. Standing next to Shisui's body was an old man covered mostly in bandages and behind him two Anbu with blank masks. Shunshin no Shisui you may have sided with you traitorous clan but from now on your power will be put to good use as now your Sharingan belongs to the true Hokage of Konoha. The man says as the two Anbu picks up the body and leaves a fake in its place before all of them disappears with puffs of smoke. And one more chapter is now done just one or two chapters left before my story reaches the point where the real manga, anime started, if you ignore that I've changed things like that they are 14 when they graduates.
Sorry but it will take a bit longer until I can make another Captain Pedophile Onka since I have a small writer's block about it but maybe next chapter so until then this will have to do. We find ourselves in front of a large stage with a large TV screen behind it. Suddenly an Edo Tensai coffin appears out of the stage floor and opens up to reveal. Jin Ichimaru from Bleach. Hello everyone Mr. Sage of Fanfiction has summoned me here today in order to tell you about air. Pulls out a script and starts to read, the two treasured tools in Naruto-kun's possession the Shichiseiken and the Bashozen, Jin says as said tools appear on the screen. First of all as a result of having the Rinnegan, Naruto both can and has formed a connection with these two items allowing him to store them inside his soul and summon them whenever he wants as well as change the form and appearance of the tools finally he can also use their full power and not just the standard that everybody else uses of course the tools still suck a large amount of chakra luckily Naruto has plenty to spare, Jin says before continuing. Now then, point at the normal version of the sword on the screen, the Shichiseiken looks like a broad and flat sword. By saying the verbal command, curse, it can be used to sever the word soul of those struck by the asterisk kokonjo, golden canopy rope, asterisk, allowing the soul to be sucked into the asterisk benihisago, crimson board, asterisk. Completing these conditions, curses, the victim, if they utter the word they have said the most during their life, they will be sucked into and trapped within the benihisago for eternity. Whatever this word is will be inscribed onto the Shichisaken's blade. The wielder can fold the blade to prevent the victim from seeing what it is. If their most used word changes at any point, the inscribed word will be updated, Jin says after which he points at the new version of the sword. After connecting with Naruto-kun the Shichisaken turned into a completely different kind of sword and had six more curses added to it. Five of these new curses however take a good bit of chakra to to use and they can only be used once before they needs to be recharged which happens automatically at the end of every week, it is not possible to put more than one curse on the same victim at the same time also if the victim is strong enough when they are cursed then it won't be permanent and the more powerful the victim the shorter the time of the curse will be, Jin says before moving on to the fan. Now the, when it comes to the Bashozen it is rather simple. It is a large fan that is able to generate all five of the basic elemental chakra natures. To do so, the user need only say a mental command, which produces substantial amounts of the desired element when the fan is waved, but now that Naruto has connected to it. The Bashozen has taken the form of a smaller more formal kind of fan, think Temeri's fan but smaller so it can easily be held in one hand. Instead of metal it is a dark brown almost black wood and instead of the three moons it is completely forest green on the inside, and can now create it waves almost anything like clouds of poison and angry bees to chocolate pudding and monkey shit finally it also has the power to blow away, close to anything so with just a wave of the fan it is possible to remove any genjutsu and even push back a tsunami. Of course each time it is used it take a bit of chakra with the amount depending on what you use the infer but it's worth it. Jin finishes as the Edo Tensai coffin comes and pulls him in before starting to disappear again. Oh my, it seems we're out of time so until next time bye bye, came Jin's voice from the coffin just before it disappeared the completely. Night of the Uchiha clan's end. Death, death and oh. Look, more death. Yeah not the prettiest thing in the world but Naruto forced himself to ignore it as he removed the eyes from one of the dead Uchihas before forming two one-handed seals. Asterisk Kekaiden. Myun no Hosheng, Barrier Release. Chest of Preservation, Asterisk Naruto says as the eyes are encased in a transparent box that looks like it's made out of blue glass before he moves them to his stomach and they disappears with a small flash of light into the seal. Impressive, is it some kind of bloodline limit of the Uzumaki clan? Itachi inquires as he wipes the blood of his sword. Does the same with another pair of eyes know the Uzumaki's bloodline limit was their special chakra that among other things gave them their longevity? Naruto answers while mentally adding, but it is the limit of a now most likely extinct clan from Kiri. When they left the no deceased Uchiha couple's home Naruto had one of his path take the family's three years old daughter to a small new orphanage that had been built a week ago where he place a seal that would alter her appearance on her before removing the genjutsu that keep her asleep. After that he used his Sharingan to suppress her memories of being an Uchiha so that when a matron was appointed they wouldn't say anything, this was something he has been doing a lot this night. How many are left Itachi Sensei? Naruto asks the soon to be missing Nin. J just my family. Itachi answers as his indifferent face broke for a second. 
Single quote single quote dot dot dot. You know if you want I can do it for this time, Naruto says while trying to keep his face and voice indifferent. No, this is my mission and you shouldn't have to stain your hands with blood because of me, was Itachi's A-W-N-S-E-R. After that they prosed it to go to Itachi's house but when they arrived they heard voices and the sound of struggling. Fugaku why are you doing this? A woman's voice cried out in panic. Because I need those eyes to lead the clan to its rightful place as the clan of gods, with them I will be a true Uchiha just like Madara Sama, was a man answer and by now Itachi was sure it was his parents fighting in there. As he entered he was greeted by the sight of Fugaku stabbing a sword into Makoto's chest after which his eyes changed into what looked like a black pyramid made from three smaller ones, think the Triforce from the Legend of Zelda game. Yes yes, with these eyes I have become a go. Ga, Fugaku's mad rant was cut short as Itachi's sword came out his chest. With those eyes you've become nothing but a monster now, burn in hell father, Itachi says spitting out the word father as if it was poison. W wa, cough Itachi y u t r a i t o, his word ended as his head was removed from his body by Itachi. Some time later, Naruto watched as Itachi used the Sukuyomi on his little brother. That's going to seriously fuck up his mind, Naruto mentally says. No kidding, like most Uchiha's weren't already messed up in the head, Kyo agrees while eating popcorn as he watched the whole thing. As this was happening two of Naruto's paths had just finished altering Makoto's memories and appearance so that she would have no problems being the matron of the orphanage with the Uchiha children after the Hokage fixed the paperwork needed for it all. Once Sasuke was unconscious Naruto went up to Itachi. Was going Sukuyomi on his ass really necessary? Naruto asks while looking at the mentally scared child. I eyes widens, hide he is coming. Itachi says quickly making Naruto prefoam five seals causing a light green trankpart cylinder shaped barrier to surround him before they both disappears. A few moments later a man in a orange spiral mask appears. Well done Itachi kun now then there is just one thing left to do before you go to aim and join Akatsuki. Here, the masked man says as he tosses a small flask to Itachi who catches it. Use that to release the seals that I have placed in the Uchiha shrine so that little Sasuke may learn more about the Mangekio Sharingan after that come to aim I will be waiting for you, the man ords before disappearing in a strange vortex. A couple of seconds later Naruto reappears. So that was him, fucking Madara Uchiha himself, Naruto says as he ignores the string of insults and curses that Kyo is letting out. Yeah, that was him, Itachi confirms. Mind if I tag along to the shrine and check it out? Naruto asks while sending some of his paths to the few remaining Uchiha bodies that he did take the eyes from since he was busy with taking their children to the orphanage instead. Sure why not? Itachi answers. At the Uchiha shrine. Wow an auntier shine for just one book, Naruto deadpans as he entered the shrine. Itachi and Naruto read the book and were surprised at the powers of the Mangekyo. Not only that but Itachi was able to read about the eternal Mangekyo due to his eyes and unknown to him Naruto was able to read it as well thanks to his Rinnegan. Just as they were leaving Naruto noticed something. Hey Itachi throw me the flask with Madara's blood for a second, Naruto says making Itachi throw it over to him. After that Naruto walked up to the wall behind the book and swiped a bit of the blood over the Sharingan symbol on it. The wall moved aside and revolved a stone table. Itachi quickly discovered that he could for some reason read more of it when he had the Mangekyo active and while he was busy translating and writing down the words on it, Naruto drank some of the blood in the flask which caused Kyo to give of several spitting and coughing sounds. Okay I am done, take this to the Hokage and goodbye also Naruto, gains a small smile thank you for saving my mother and the children, Itachi says before diapering into the night. Goodbye Itachi sensei. Naruto whispers after him for leaving to report to the Hokage but as he leaves he frowns as the paths that he had sent to the Uchiha's that still had their eye couldn't find the bodies. Meaning someone else must have taken them. The Hokage's office. So a few of the bodies were not found. Sarutobi asks as he reads the partly translated text of the stone tablet. There were three bodies missing but I am not sure who it was that took them at the moment, Naruto answers. Still you did good especially when it came to Makoto and the children so you have more than earned your reward, so is there anything particular you would like? Sarutobi asks the masked blonde. Ask for that jutsu, ask for that jutsu, 
ask for that jutsu, Kyo repeated in Naruto's head over and over again. I would like for one of the jutsu in the Forbidden Scroll, Naruto says making Kyo shut up. Wah, how do you, oh, write your little animal spies, Sarutobi says annoyed before going to get the scroll all while mumbling about how S-ranked secrets are not to be known to academy students. Here chose one and if it's not to Danjero's then you may learn it. Sarutobi says as he hands Naruto the scroll. Sweat drops so you keep Konoha's most dangerous jutsu scroll here in your offense without any kind of security seals meaning if nobody's here someone can just take it and leave just like that. Naruto deadpans before opening the scroll while Sarutobi just stands there blinking as he goes over what Naruto just said. It wasn't long until Naruto had come close to the end of the scroll an annoyed look on his face even if he was grinning like a maniac in the inside since his Sharingan was memorizing everything. The full name of this scroll is Konoha's Forbidden Scroll of Seals yet there is only three jutsu in this scroll that actually involves seal, seriously old man were the past Hokages drunk or something when they named this thing. Naruto asks as he come to the end of the scroll. Sight I don't know Naruto-kun, now please just pick a jutsu already, says Serutobi. I chose one of the only three jutsu that has to do with seals, Naruto says making Serutobi worry since those the jutsu were the Ura Shisho Fuinjutsu reverse four symbol sealing technique asterisk that the user places across their chest and sets it to activate upon their death. The technique then releases four symbols from the user's body that then form a large black sphere around them. Anything caught inside the sphere's area is then drawn in and sealed within the user's corpse. The Shiki Fujin dead demon consuming seal asterisk the seal that summons the Shinigami himself in order to seal something at the cost of the user's soul. And the Kuchios, Edo Tensai, summoning, a pure world resurrection that brings back the dead to serve the user, and most frightening of all about it is that besides the need for human sacrifice the air know no weaknesses. All of these were very powerful not mentioned dangerous. W which one? Serutobi asks shocked that Naruto would want any of them. That's an easy question, the one that doesn't involve me dying, the Edo Tensai, Naruto answers. Single quote single quote dot dot dot. Very well, cites listen Naruto that jutsu is very powerful and is not to be used recklessly, Serutobi says making Naruto nod. Got old man, no using it for small and tribal things, Naruto says. You promise, Serutobi asks making Naruto hold up his fist but with his pinky extended. Pinky promise. Naruto answers making Serutobi blink before reminding himself that Naruto was still a 8 year old boy despite what he can do and has done. Smiles pinky promise. Serutobi says as he bring up his pinky in the same way. Somewhere else. I am sorry Danzo Sama but I can still feel even if barely that you are using the Sharingan to influence my thought and actions, an Anbu member with a blank mask says as he stawed before the bandaged man. Damn it why isn't it stronger and is supposed to be impossible to detect, is it because it is transplanted or did we pick one of the normal ones instead of Shisui's, the man now identified as Danzo growls before regaining control of his emotions and turning to two of his Anbu. It will have to do but I can't take the risk of using it on a shinobi above Lo Chunin or anyone else that might be able to tell that they are being influenced by it, now you go prepare the surgery room I want my new arm as soon as possible he says before leaving while mentally seating over the fact that his eye is not working like it should. With Naruto inside his mind scape. Hey Kyo what exactly are you doing with all those eyes anyway? Naruto asks as he looks at all the small chest with Sharingan floating around the room. Well a third of them I am going to try and turn into Mangekyo and after that eternal Mangekyo Sharingans which won't be too hard now that we have Madara Thames blood along with the Mangekyos of that wife stabbing asshole. Kyo explains before continuing. Another third of them I am going to turn into Rinnegans since I've done it before it shouldn't be too hard but it will take a while, Kyo says. What about the remaining ones? Naruto asks confused. I am going to try and turn them into missing links, Kyo answers. Missing links, Naruto repeats even more confused. Kyo waves one of his tails and the image of a man appears. This is the elder brother of the sage's three children now take a look at his eyes, Kyo says and when Naruto looks he sees that while they are a pure smiller at first they are different from the Rinnegan. The Rinnegan has multiple circles in a ripple-like pattern, 
These I however just had a single spiral swirling out from the center. The abilities of the Rinnegan and Sheringan are almost completely different and while his children got the Sheringan he had neither the it nor the Rinnegan, so just imagine what kind of abilities his eyes could have had. Kyo says and Naruto couldn't help but agree. Speaking of Sharingans have you put all the different DNAs we collected from the Uchiha clan in the storage room? Naruto asks the fox who was tinkering with a pair of eyes at the moment. Of course all of them named and categorized just like I've done with all the other DNA samples that we collected from those that intercested us, Kyo answers while using one of his tails to point into a different room filled with a large amount of red flasks each having a small paper tag tied to them. Smirks, wonderful kefu fu fu fu, Naruto says as he lets out his unic laugh. And that one more chapter. Sorry I am still having trouble coming up with another Captain Pedophil Omaka so I am just going to write this instead. Kiba gets lots of bitches. Kiba I have had it with you constant attempts at getting Hinata so now I am going to do something I should have done the moment I found out what a horndog you were, Naruto says angrily as he pulls out the Shichiseiken and makes a shallow cut in Kiba's arm with it. Beast curse he says and before Kiba even knows what's going on he has been turned into a brown version of Akamaru. Naruto quickly pick up Kiba and a flask before throwing them into the Inazuka kennels, more specifically the part where all the Famal dogs are. And the flask contained a powerful liquid ash product that turns into a gas when it comes into contact with air. Seven years later the long lost Kiba reappears and Inazuka soon learns that she has over two Dawson grandchildren or in this case grandpups. Konoha Academy. Graduating day, Naruto and the rest are now 14. Now then, I will call your name and you will come into the examination room, first Akira Ki. At that point the Naruto clone stopped paying attention to Uruka and instead concentrated on the scroll that he was writing down a jutsu that Naruto had been working on. It was a Kekaiden jutsu, it was made with the Uzumaki's special chakra that had been mixed with the Mokuden making it something that even Kyo at his very best would have some serious trouble with, it was named. Kekaiden. Jikuken Kekai. Hatang Shibojuku no Mashosik Barrier Release. Space-Time Barrier, 8-Point Entrapment of Independence. And would create a transparent bright red cube the size of a fist, the cube would then be fired of towards whatever the target is, the cube is intangible and the user can change its size however and whenever he wishes. Once the cube has reached the target the user can activate it making it turn dark green and solid, anything caught inside of the cube when it turns solid gets frozen in time, when solid the users can still change the size of the cube and whatever is in it will change size along with it and finally it is completely indestructible. The reason for this jutsu's creation was to help gather something that Naruto had figured would be very useful when it came to getting stronger even since he learned a little something from Kyo. Speaking of the fox, he had been able to further improve Naruto's eyes in a few ways. The first was that more of the Byakugan's abilities was successfully added so now Naruto's eyes has both the Byakugan's telescopic vision and its X-ray vision so now Naruto can see through people's cloths and of course Kyo did this as soon as Naruto entered puberty. The second thing Kyo did with Naruto's eyes was giving the Rinnegan a boost by fusing one of the new pairs of Rinnegans that he had made with them, as a result his paths can now use more elements and most likely other things but Kyo and Naruto wasn't sure yet. Kyo hasn't done that much else since he has been busy experimenting with all the eyes that was collected during the Uchiha clan slaughter. However while the clone was working on the new jutsu, the real Naruto was at the back of the classroom making Hinata a target of envy for all the girls in the class since after she and Naruto became a couple he has been spoiling her almost every day, something the rest of the girls envied since the first school day after they got together. Flashback. Six years ago, day after becoming a couple. Gyro Gamaso, Uruka called out. Here, a unimportant kid answered. Hanada Hayuga, Uruka called out. A more Naruto kun, please, give me more, came Hanada's voice, making everyone turn their attention to the back of the class. There were three things that everyone quickly noticed. Their first was that Naruto had changed his cloths as well as removed his mask as he now hit his Rinnegan with a genjutsu connected to a small seal behind his right ear. Now Naruto wears a pair of black combat pants, a dark blue t-shirt and a coat similar to the one that the Yandaimi had but black instead of white, the flames are blue and there is nothing written on the back. The second was that Hinata was sighting in his lap with his arm around her and placing soft kisses on her neck. 
And finally in front of them there was a glass bowl with ice cream and strawberries and Hinata was trying to bite the strawberry that Naruto W.S. holding right in front of her. What are you two doing? Asks an annoyed Uruka. Enjoying ourselves. After all since Hina-chan has agreed to be my girlfriend I'm going to treat her like a good boyfriend should. Naruto answered as he let go of the berry in order not to lose his fingers to Hinata's teeth. What? No. Hinata is mine U-D-E-A-D-L-A-S-T. A furious Kiba yells as he stand up. Really? That's odd since I asked Hinata what she wanted and she, Naruto began but was cut of as Kiba lunged at the couple. It doesn't matter, I'm the alpha here and I've chosen her to be my bitch, she belongs to me. Kiba yells out as he moved forward but he was brought to a halt as glowing blue chains burst from the floor, binding him and forcing him on his knees. Everybody was shocked both by Kiba's outburst as well as the chains appearing but a shiver of cold went down their spines as they heard Naruto who had his head down, hiding his eyes from view and had a cold blue aura around his body. Belongs to you, you're the alpha, you have chosen her. Kiba, Kiba, Kiba you really have gone and seriously pissed me of now, I mean your previous actions and comments I could let slide but saying things like this as if women are nothing but object for men to play around with now that holds out his hand, as really cleanses his hand into a fist, something I, the chains titans, will not, the chains titans to the point where they start to cut into the flesh and break bones tolerate. Naruto says with voice that could probably freeze hell itself. And Naruto that enough I handle it from here, Uruka shout out before one of his students dies. The chains disappears very well, just make sure he learns his lesson, Naruto says and once Uruka and Kiba were out of the before holding a spoon with ice cream in front of Hinata. Now that the mud is gone shall we continue Hina-chan? Naruto asks but then notices that the whole class was looking at him causing him to raise an eyebrow. What? Flashback end. After that Kiba would only glare at Naruto and the girls would glare at Hinata while wishing that they had a boyfriend that would spoil, love and stand up for them that fact that Naruto had matured and grown into a really handsome young man only mad at worse, especially since all attempts to steal him from Hinata had failed. Soon Uruka and his assistant Mizuki came in and the genin exams started. I'm skipping the exams it's just the standard Mizuki tries and fails to sabotage the exams thing. After the exams Naruto attached his forehead protector to the middle of his belt before heading home after taking a look at the others who passed. Everyone is wearing their shinkuden cloths exempt Naruto whose hair now has grown down to his shoulders. After getting home and the entering his father's house that he had moved into a few years back Naruto sat down and went over some of the most important things that he had learned over some time. 1. His spies had seen and collected more jutsu and bloodline limits. 2. He had a make-out session with Hinata in the school closet. 3. He had come up with a few ideas that would greatly help increase Konoha's power. 4. The Hokage approved of the ideas and would support him when they were ready. 5. His spies had seen and collected even more jutsu and bloodline limits and also learned the location of several items that could prove useful. 6. He had another make-out session with Hinata in the school closet. 7. A civilian asshole pissed him off so he killed him and blew up his house. 8. He managed to tap into his bobby trapped eye and found out about Danzo. 9. His spies had learned about a few of the other Jinchuriki. 10. Kyo had made a few breakthroughs with the eyes. 11. Guy Sensei could no longer train him since he had taken up a genin team. 12. His spies had learned more interesting things. 13. He had another make-out session with Hinata in the school closet and this time she removed her jacket and showed him her breasts. 14. Learned more about Danzo. The last one was something that actually had Naruto worried, he never believed that Danzo would experiment on his Sharingan but he had, and as a result of constant training it and injecting some of Shisui's DNA into it he had managed to give it the ability he wanted, it was not as strong as the original but almost. Naruto however put those tufts aside and went to bed so that this body and this brain could rest while he focused on the other paths since while having seven brains really lessens the mental strain it didn't remove it completely so he had to rest with each body every now and then. With the diva path, the diva path which I shall call Naruto from now on was at the moment doing his best to dodge the flaming chakra tails of the nibi after he refused to hand over the asterisk benihisago, crimson gourd, asterisk that he had found hidden just outside the borders of lightning country to akumo nin. 
Hem she seems to have almost complete control over her biju, did she force the nibi to help her or are they like me and Kyo? Well it doesn't matter it's time to test that jutsu, Naruto said in his head as he started making hand seals. Kakaiden. Jikuken Kakai. Hatang Shibojuku no Mashosuk, Naruto whispered before he shoot five red cubes at the flaming cat. All of the cubes hit and phased into the envy before growing larger, now both of the envy's front legs, its right back leg, one of its tails and a big piece of the left side of its chest were encased in the cubes. Makes a hand seal, activate. Naruto says making the cubes turn green and the envy scream as large parts of it was cut of by the barriers. The envy falls down and fades away leaving the Kumo Nin unconscious, Naruto after taking a small DNA sample uses his eyes to modify her memories and leaves a small spy in the form of a bug in her hair. After that Naruto shrinks the cubes with the parts of Biju inside of them and sends them into his mindscape along with the Benihisago before he disappeared in a puff of smoke since the animal paths used the summoning jutsu to transport him. With the animal path in water country. Badaba do 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 and another one bites the dust, and another one bites the dust, animal sang quietly as one of the rebels was crushed under the Mizukage's giant foot in his biju form. It was then Diva appeared in a puff of smoke. The two paths watched as the cage turned giant turtle squashed a few more people, two of which was on his side. With the Sandy and rebels. Don't give up. Take him down. A rebel shouted before he was hit by a water bullet. It was then a dragon made from lava slammed into Yugura the Mizukage. Asterisk Yodin. Yokai, lava release. Melting apparition, asterisk the rebel leader calls out before releasing a large amount of lava from her mouth into the air above the Mizukage which then fell down on him. But since it fell on his back when Ha had the form of a demon turtle, yeah not all that effective. The attack did however anger him causing him to swipe one of his tails at the one who attacked him it was however in that moment that the two paths decided to join in by having diva created more of the cubes and fire them at the mizukage the mizukage however ignored attack from the most likely bo tate defense shield asterisk clan member since none of its previous members could harm him and that it what cost him this time two cubes entered his chest four other encased two tails and half of his third one the last three cubes surrounded his front left leg so when the cubes activated it was only his large size that saved his life but he was forced to flee. The rebels cheered as the Mizukage retreated and the rebel leader walked up to the diva path who had just sent the cubes into his mindscape. Thank you, I am made to Rumi as I'm sure you know, I'm also surprised to see one of your clan since I heard they were all killed two months ago, that is unless you're from the branch family that left Kiri during the Shodime Mizukage's time. May says as she looks at the masked and cloaked figure. Laugh like Mukuro, Kefu Fu Fu, I hate to disappoint but I'm not from that clan at all, I simply have similar abilities and while I would love to stay and talk with such a beautiful woman I'm running late for some other things so until we meet again goodbye Kiriheim, Mist Princess, Diva says before disappearing in a cloud of smoke leaving a blushing May behind. With the Diva and Animal Paths. The two paths were moving towards the borders of water country when a pulse of chakra caught their attention. Following it they found two people fighting just outside what looked like an abandoned building. Just give up old man and tell me where the scroll is, said a middle-aged man with black hair as he slashed with his sword at the old man that looked like he was over a hundred years old. Ha, huh, like I would let a little gaki like you get his hands on it, it was entrusted to me by the Nadaim Mizukage himself. The old man says as he blocks the sword with his staff before pulling out a kunai that he with lightning fast speed stabbed into the younger mon's chest. But when that happened the mon's jacket opened up revealing several explosion notes. Boom. The man exploded and the old man was sent flying into a tree breaking bones and getting knocked out. Naruto was thinking of what to do. On one hand he leave the old man and could search the building for the obviously important scroll, on the other hand he could help the old man instead. Some time later, the old man named Yanisho woke up and found that he had bandages warped around his body. Ah I see you are awake, said Naruto as he entered the room. Not that I'm ungrateful but who are you? Yanisho asked the masked stranger. Sadly I can't tell you my real name since it would cause trouble for me if people knew who I am so just call me Diva, Naruto answered as he sat down in a chair besides the bed. You know I sensed you were there hiding while I was fighting. That means you heard about the scroll so why didn't you try to find and take it? Yanisho asks as he sits up. Shrugs his shoulder, I guess I just didn't feel like it, 
By the way, what's your name? Naruto asks. Yanisho. Yanisho Kriyanami, former captain of Kiri's Anbu and good friend of the Nadaim Mizukage, Yanisho answered as he got up and went over to a chest in the corner of the room. Opens the chest, the one that blew himself up outside was my great grandson Yanago. He wanted the scroll I had, believing that simply reading the jutsu in it would automatically make him as strong as the Mizukages. That Baka Gaki, Yanisho said sadly as he took out a large scroll from the chest. This is the true forbidden scroll of Kiri. The one in the Mizukage's office is a special copy, any jutsu added to it gets added to this one as well and should that scroll be taken out of the office then it will turn to dust this is so that it wouldn't be stolen, Yanisho explained as he rolled out the scroll in front of Naruto. As payment for your help and because you remind me of my old friend with that ignoring power because you don't feel like it attitude I will let you learn a jutsu from the scroll but only one so chose wisely, Yanisho says as he sits down on the bed. Naruto nods and start to read through the scroll and after a while without looking up he says. Hey Yanisho I can't help but notice that many of these are for different Keke Genke and clans. When the scroll was made by the Shodaim Mizukage he felt that all powerful or dangerous jutsu should be added so while each of the Mizukages and other Kiri Nins that have shown great skill have added at least one jutsu many clans did the same mostly as a way to show their power and they didn't need to fear of the jutsu they added being stolen since either a Keke Genke or special training was needed to use them, Yanisho explained. It didn't take long for Naruto to reach the end of the scroll and had with that memorized everything in it. Okay I have made my chose and it is the asterisk Heisui Sujin, draining water god, asterisk, Naruto said making Yanisho copy the jutsu onto another scroll which he then gave to Naruto. The Shodaim Mizukage's favorite, very well also try not to use it until all this bloodline purging foolishness is over and I have told the one who's leading Kiri about you knowing it since that might otherwise lead to trouble for you, Yanisho said as he took the larger scroll and put it back in its chest. I'll try. Goodbye Yanisho-san, Naruto said before leaving. Hey what an interesting young man, who was he again? Eyes widen in shock, oh no, I'm going senile. Yanisho cried out in despair. With the Prada path, Naruto's Prada path had just finished taking down a bandit camp near the border between fire and grass country, but most of the bandits were still alive. W what the hell are you planning to do to us you masked freak, one of the tied up bandits demanded to know. Laughs slightly, Kefu Fu Fu, why I'm going to put your corrupt souls to good use with the help of a little something called Edo Tensai. And when the bandits heard this for some reason they felt fear unlike any they ever felt before. Inside Naruto's mindscape, while all kind of things were happening outside Kyo was busy tinkering with all the eyes, but at the moment he was laughing like a madman. Ha 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 ha. Yes I have done it ha ha. He shouted out in triumph as his attention was focused on the eyes in front of him, gray eyes with a spiral. The Namikaze House Naruto was at the moment watching an epic battle between two warriors in another reality, as for how he can do this it is because he had the Misen Link eyes fused into his own and its abilities added to his already existing ones now lets him see into other worlds. This has been useful in many ways such as trying to recreate some of the moves used in the other worlds as well as getting ideas for books and the like. Yeah Naruto is an author and a very famous one since his first hit a romance novel called Whispers in the Dark which was just one of many good books he has written. However none of that is important at the moment since it is time for Naruto to got to the team selection so he heads towards the academy while thinking about the spy he had managed to sneak into the Akatsuki. With said spy, we find ourselves with Naruto's spy a man in a black and red battle kimono and covered in a good amount of bandages who was at the moments is creeping out his comrades by staring at them with his rather large eyes. He looks just like Kagero from Kakeshi. Kagero was very happy, in fact he can honestly say that the gods themselves must have blessed him or something after all he has been given a good amount of power, a form of immortality a chance to make a name for himself and most important of all a chance to fight powerful opponents and all he had to do was get killed by the one that would become his boss. Kagero was born in a small country far away from any place with ninjas but for some reason when he was born his chakra was already unlocked, he quickly discovered this and used it to make himself one of the best swordsmen in the country, however as time went by and his skills grew less and less people were able to give him a good fight which in turn denied him that wonderful feeling he gets when facing worthy opponents. In the end he became insane something even he himself realized after killing of all the samurai, 
material artist or anyone that could fight at all in the whole country. It didn't take long for him to realize that if he wants a good fight that why not find someone that can use chakra as well and with that he left his home country and headed of towards the land of Shinobi. After traveling for a long time killing of groups of bandits or travelers here and there and sometimes a shinobi or chakra using samurai he finally arrived in the land of fire where the greatest of the five shinobi villages could be found. It was then he meet his future boss and his own very quick death, sure he knew that ninjas could do some seriously freaky shit but he still didn't expect a blonde haired brat that could create metal spikes from nothing and control gravity of all things to crush him into the ground, nail him there with the spikes, offer him a job and then call down a lightning bolt on him when he agreed. And that was how Kagero ended up working for Naruto and it was the best idea ever after all when he was Edo summoned three other tags was placed into him along with the control seal. These three tags are the reason for a large amount of his increased power since one infused him with the swift element giving him unmatched speed, the other tag lets him use the steel element but he mostly only uses it to create swords the final tag however he had no idea what it is for but he really doesn't care. After that he worked as a bounty hunter both in order to learn more about his new abilities and improve his skills as well as make a name for himself so that the Akatsuki would want him to join them and eventually they did. He has been in the Akatsuki for two months now but has no partner since he keeps killing them so he works solo and maybe sometimes with Kakuzu and Hidan since he can't kill those two. But he has done his job as a spy and learned a great deal about the Akatsuki and its members and their abilities he had even taken a few samples during a couple of spars. Yes there is no doubt that. Jashin dammit stop fucking starring at me you fucking weirdo. Hidan yells as he can't stand the constant starring completely ignoring that he just interrupted the leader when he was telling them their mission. Kagero simply grins before turning his head and starts to stare at Kisame who does his best to ignore his fellow swordsman, and fails miserably. Back with Naruto. Team 7 will be Naruto, Sakura and Sasuke under Kakashi, Team 8 will be Hinata, Shino and Kiba under Kurenai, Team 9 is still active and Team 10 will be Ino. Shikamaru and Choji under Asuma, please wait for your Jonin instructor to come and pick you up now goodbye and good luck, with that Uruka left in order to help the Hokage with something. Things were rather normal for the Genins as they waited, Naruto who had discarded his coat and now had a green vine like tattoo on his arm was feeding Hinata a cinnamon bun while they were being glared at by several people, fangirls were fighting over Sasuke, Shikamaru and Choji was doing what they do best sleeping and eating and that was pretty much it. Suddenly Naruto froze for a second something that Hinata noticed but he just smiled so she just passed it of and returned to eating. Reason Naruto froze. Naruto's human and Prada paths were at the moment following a small group of missing nins that were inside Konoha of all places. The group was made up of nins from Iwa, Taki, Kumo and a missing Kiri nin as their leader. They were at the moment hiding in the forest of death while trying to decide what to do with the two children they kidnapped these two being the Hokage's grandson Konohamaru and Hinata's little sister Hanabi. Kumo has been after the Byakugan for years and would pays anything to get their hands on an unmarked Hyuga and Iwa is still pissed about losing the war so either one of those villages would pay us big time for these two, the Kiri Nin says ignoring the protests from the two from said villages. Hey let us go damn it! shouted the Hokage's grandson who had managed to somehow remove the mouth gag he had. Fucking brat what will it take to shut you up, the Kiri Nin growled. I will be quiet and stop struggling if you promise to let the girl you kidnapped go, Konohamaru says earning a shocked look from said girl and laughs from the nins. Yeah right not happening brat you and your little girl friend are our pay you rk. Whatever the tacky nin was going to says is silenced by a metal pike was impaled into his mouth, the other nins didn't fare much better as they too were hit by spikes moving far too fast for them to dodge only the leader managed to avoid getting hit. Not bad Kiri Nin San not many can dodge my attacks when I use my Jinsukuden Jutsus, Naruto says as he walks into the camp ignoring the downed Nins since the spikes were made from his chakra receiver metal and was messing up their chakra. The Kiri Nin reached for the sword on his back, another brat sneers well it doesn't matter with the power of Kiri's legendary blast sword I'll just blow you away so get ready to face the power of the asterisk shibuki splash asterisk you lit asterisk jinsukuden kasuku hasha swift release high speed projectile asterisk naruto says while making four hand seals before creating another pike in his hand that starts so glow yellow as he throws it 
The Nin died before he even realized the spike had entered his brain. Well that was fun, Naruto's human path says as he picks up the Shibuki and the Prada path unties the two children. And from what I can sense the Anbu will be here in a few seconds so you two wait here for them, okay. Good now bye bye, the two Naruto says before disappearing in two puffs of smoke. With those two gone Hanabi turns to Konohamaru and gives him a small kiss on the check making him turn red just as the Anbu arrive. Back at the academy, Naruto just smiled as he continued to feed Hinata. After a while the doors opened and the Jonin senseis for team 8 and 10 came and took their teams away. With that Naruto just sat back and ignored everything around him in favor of what his paths are doing. With the Asura path, Naruto's Asura path had just finished taking care of an infamous shinobi thief that has for the past two years been going around stealing items and scrolls in order to create his own ninja village but that not going to happen now that he is dead, but who cares this story is not about him anyway. But the stuff he had collected was really something. One of the first things that grabbed Naruto's attention was the most recently stolen item, a scroll from the fire temple that contained information on the special chakra that the monks uses known as the asterisk Senzoku no Sai, gift of the hermit group, asterisk. Wonderful, with this once I can use that then it will be even more powerful especially if I continue to eat the chakra meat I took from the Sandy and Nibi, Naruto said mentally. Don't forget about the other Biju's kit. Not to mention all the other kinds of chakra that can be found around the world, if you add those to the mix then that will no doubt be your most powerful ability, Kyo says while he does who knows what inside Naruto's body. Yeah, why do we keep saying that instead of its name? Naruto asks to which Kyo just shrugs his shoulders. With the animal path, Naruto animal path was at the moment deep inside a cave in lightning country. Let's see where could it be, I know it's here since I can sense it but where? Oh. There it is, Naruto said as he found an old chest at the end of the cave. With that Naruto opened the chest and smiled before removing the item inside of it, the asterisk kokonjo golden canopy rope asterisk it was also then he heard something truly annoying, the sound of jinjiriku that sucks at rapping. Back at academy, Naruto just looked annoyed, and it was then that the doors opened and their jonin came in and after just one look Naruto slams his head into the desk as he and his paths yells out. Fuck, not another pervert. Kakashi just stood there wide-eyed thinking, is it really that obvious? At the academy, Kakashi just stared at the three genins before regaining the ability to talk. H hey now you shouldn't go calling people you don't know. You are a over 20 year old virgin pervert who lacks depth perception and has no confidence in your own looks which is why you wear a mask except and get over it already you freaking scarecrow. Naruto said cutting him off and making Kakashi fall to his knees with a spotlight shining down on him. It is true, but how did he know, is it that obvious? Kakashi tough in despair. Yeah it is very obvious, so you can not longer hide it, you just plain suck sensei, Naruto said in the same tone used for stating a fact like the shy is blue. After a while Kakashi managed to pull himself togheader. Well then my first impression of you all is, I hate you especially you blondie. Okay I'm skipping a bit forward since I don't feel like doing the introduction thing since it is the same as canon except Naruto's is a bit different. Naruto just fell into his bed and sighted. So tomorrow there is going to be another test, sights and here I though that the scarecrow was such a Uchiha fanboy that he would pass just because the emo was on the team closes his eyes stupid rapping kumo nin, Naruto said. With the stupid rapping kumo nin. Naruto's paths were having a hard time fighting the Hachibi Jinchuriki who at first was rapping about not being a pervert and getting the treasured tool, but now was powering up a Amari menacing ball asterisk in his full biju form. If not for the fact that the animal path was nearby and summoned the other paths then the fight would have already been over since as powerful as he is Naruto still have to go all out for opponents like this. Asterisk Kuchio's summoning asterisk said the animal path as he slammed his hands down on the ground creating a large cloud of smoke. It was at that moment the Kumo Jinchuriki fired the Amari into the smoke blowing up whatever it was the path summoned. But it didn't matter for his distraction had allowed Naruto's paths to surround him and were now all making hand seals. Asterisk Dai Hatang Shibojuku no Mashosik, Grade 8 Point Entrapment of Independence, Asterisk, they all shouted as six cubes were shoot at the Hachibi. 
Once they reached it a blinding flash came and when it faded it was revealed that a giant cube was encasing all of the eight tentacles along with everything else all the way to the center of the biju's chest, and then the cube turned green. It couldn't even scream as half of its lungs were gone. Once the battle was over and the Kumo Jinchuriki was unconscious Naruto started to mess with his head so that he wouldn't remember anything of what happened besides a black cloak with red clouds on it as well as seeing if he had any useful memories, which he did and now Naruto knows how to get his hands on the treasured tool inside of Kumo along with a few other things. Yes thing we're going to the very interesting tomorrow, now it would just be a good idea to leave since this fight will have caught a attention of a lot of people. The next day. Naruto got out of bed, got dressed, grabbed something to eat and headed up to training ground 7. Naruto Baka, you're late and Kakashi Sensei said not to eat anything. Sakura yelled as Naruto neared the training ground. Naruto ignored her and instead pulled his arm back as if to throw something. With a puff of smoke Kakashi arrives. Hey every splat. The rest of what Kakashi was going to say never came as he was interrupted by a wedding cake hitting him in the face. Silence. From now on Aero Sensei please don't be late, okay. Naruto said happily. Where did that cake come from? Was the thoughts of Sasuke and Sakura. Okay I'm really starting to hate this kid, Kakashi mentally growled. After cleaning himself up a bit he explained and started the test. However he really did not like the look in Naruto's eyes. With the diva, human and prey to paths. Three of Naruto's path were at the moment inside of Kumo using the information that had been gathered from Killer B and the summoned spies to move around without any problems. The diva path was walking around inside the Rakage's tower with an advanced henge on making him look like an older, longer silver-haired version of himself with a little bit different facial structure and no whiskers, it also changed his chakra signature and made it seem weaker. The Prada path was following close behind under a special Sweden, Genjutsu hybrid that prevents him from being seen, smelt or having his chakra sensed however this came at the cost of not being able to use any other chakra related skill like while walking. The human path however was moving to different locations in the village looking for useful things such as scroll or people that he can use his abilities on. Back at the bell test, Naruto was sitting in a tree kissing Hanada. No that is what he wish was happening in reality he was watching Sasuke get his ass violated by Kakashi thanks to a quick substitution when the one-eyed perv tried to do that to him. Sasuke is an emo idiot, Sakura a banshee whore and Kakashi just plain suck. I wonder if I can switch to Hina-chan's team, Naruto complained mentally as he watched Sakura attack Kakashi while screaming how she is the only one that should violate Sasuke's butt. Naruto just held up his left arm and an apple pie appeared in it. The reason for this is that Naruto had found a way to use the powers of the Rakuto Senen no Hogu while they are still inside of him by letting them fuse with him slightly and as a result he now has the power of the Bashosen in his left arm and the power of the Shichiseken in his right also if he wants he can change what arm has what power and since he has the Kokonjo and Benihisago he no longer needs to pull out. Cut of and record the word soul in order to use the word curse just getting cut by his claws or a chakra receiver blade from that arm will do. Jinsukuden. Kasuku Hasha. Naruto mutters while performing a few one-handed seals making the pie glow yellow slightly. Back with the other three Kakashi had just knocked out Sakura with a genjutsu and buried Sasuke up to the head when he was hit in the face with the pie. He hit me in the face again. I fucking hate this kid. Kakashi was at this point on fire out of rage and was about to go hunting blondes when he heard something behind him causing him to spin around to grab what he believed to be the blonde genin that had come to steal a bell. Got you, Kakashi said loudly as he grabbed something soft. It wasn't Naruto, it was the right boob of Kurunai, and behind her was Asuma, Anko and Gai. All the color disappeared from Kakashi's face as an angry aura surrounded Kurunai. Anko and Asuma while Guy started to scream about unyouthfulness. What horrors happened after that cannot be described in mortal words. Naruto was watching it all with a smile and some of popcorn and to think all he had to do was send a few clones to deliver a few messages and this happened with is even better than what he originally planned. That's right pervert suffer, the only one whose perverseness I don't dislike is Hina-chan's and sometimes maybe Kyo's, Naruto mentally laughed as his tufts drifted to his surprisingly perverted girlfriend. 
He was more than a little shocked when he found out that Hinata had very interesting ideas when it came to some things. In fact, when Naruto told Hinata that he was the son of Minato and Kashina, she was the one who brought up the fact that Naruto could have more than one wife thanks to the CRA as well as the things that he could do with multiple girls. He also found out that while Hinata had no interest in any other guy than him, the same could, however, not be said for girls. That's right the Hyuga princesses by and actually wanted that Naruto would get more girls and even went as far as to buy him a book on seduction. Naruto was snapped out of his thoughts of Hinata by the sound of the alarm clock ringing telling all that the test was over. Okay I'm skipping this part. In short Sakura is tied to the log and is then feed by Sasuke and Naruto later making Kakashi pass them. Once the test was over Naruto quickly left in order to find Hinata. While all of this was happening the Asura path was with the Hokage going over one of Naruto's project that would help improve Konoha, Project CC. The two C's stands for clan creation since that is exactly what this project is all about. The idea was to gather a group of people mostly orphans and then give them a clan home, a bit of money to support themselves with for a time and one of the scrolls that Naruto created for this and then see if they can make it. The scrolls contained jutsu and other things that Naruto gathered and felt would fit with the kind of clan that he had designed. So far Naruto had five clan scrolls that each had enough in them to start a clan with but they can be upgraded if he finds more things that fit. The five clans so far are Otokane, Sound Bell, Asterisk a clan that uses sound for their jutsu both nin, general and taijutsu. Many of the jutsu and other stuff was stolen from the newly made sound village but there are a few that aren't and Naruto has heard rumors about a bad summoning contract that would fit in with this clan very well. Kenko, health, asterisk a clan that is going to specialize in medical jutsu as well as poison related things and cooking making its members mostly for support roles. Shuseng, nature, asterisk a clan that will be given the one bloodline limit that Naruto has created and can safely give to other. The limit does not have a name but it gives the wielder a very strong affinity for one of the five main elements, with element as completely random, this clan will specialize in elemental ninjutsu but will be the smallest since Naruto could only create a limited amount of the bloodline. Takaizura, high sky, asterisk a clan that shall specialize in aerial combat and other things that can be done if you can fly. Sagashit deceiver, asterisk a clan that will focus mostly on things like infiltration, spying and sabotage so it members won't be all that powerful in a fair fight, which is why they won't fight fair. Naruto is even looking into ways to safely give other people bloodline limits in order to help making the clan stronger but so far he has not had that much success despite being give access to the research notes and old labs of Orochimaru and Hiroko by the Sandame as long as he reports what he is doing in there. Also this project will make things difficult for Danzo since much more attention will be paid to the orphanages now which in turn will make people notice that there are children missing since Danzo has been recruiting them, so he will need to lay low and not be able to continue any of his plans for some time unless he wants to be discovered. Of course this will be very expensive but that was easily fixed since the civilian part of the council will pay for it as they are arrested for a few things such as using the village treasury for their own gain, trying to steal from the Namikaze. Uzumaki and Senju accounts along with some other things which will have them stripped of everything they own and have most of them locked in prison. While all of these different things were happening Naruto's main body was doing something much more important, namely spoiling Hinata with cake and other wonderful things as he told her what he has been doing lately. So Naruto-kun what do you think the Reikage's reaction will be when he finds out that the Kohaku no Johe, Amber Purifying Pot, Asterisk has been stolen. Hanada asks while munching on a piece of strawberry cake. Angry most likely, but I wouldn't worry yet since I only connected with it so that I can summon it into my own little world whenever I want, after all if it disappeared now then my diva path would be among the first to put the blame on, my Prada path won't be able to finish memorizing their forbidden scroll and that nice secretary would also get blamed for letting me distract her, was Naruto's answer. Oh, and how did you distract her? Hanada asks with greater interest as Naruto had used a genjutsu to show her what the secretary looks like and Hanada had to admit she was good looking. Oh nothing much just a few things I learned from that book you gave me, Naruto answers with a smirk. Hey kid I just finished with those two bloodlines you gave me, came Kyo's voice from within Naruto's mindscape. Good job why don't you take a break and go hunt some giant rabbits or something, 
Naruto suggested which Kyo gladly agreed to as he ran out into that which at one point had been nothing more than a small mindscape in the form of a sewer but now was an large world filled with all kinds of wonders, and everything was just as real as the world outside of Naruto thanks to all the power and abilities that Naruto now had. With that Naruto just continued to talk with Hinata. With the animal path. The animal path at the moment was in Earth Country, the feudal lord's palace to be more precise. After summoning the human path and some small spy summons the animal path left while the human path headed towards his target. The target is Jin Kuroiwa the second son of the earth daimyo. Jin is someone who was received the short end of the stick in life, ever since he was born he has had a sick and frail body, not only that but the woman who he has had a secret relationship with is to be married of to his brother Kinjin who wants her just to be cruel to his younger brother. So now he is stuck in bed with his love by his side waiting for his brother to come and mock him for the last time since the doctors say that Jin will not live past sundown. But as he lay there looking at the face of his beloved he can't help but think of the offer he was given two weeks ago. I Chan I need to talk with you about something, Jin says weakly. What is it Jin Kun? I asks as for how she looks just imagine some anime girl in a kimono. Some time ago a person visited me and made me an offer. He offered me a healthy body, the chance to marry you and even the place as father's successor, Jin admits earning a shocked look from I before he continued. But of course not without a price, three to be exact, first the life of my brother who despite being far from a good person is still family, second my identity as Jin Kuroiwa and third after that I will follow his orders, Jin finishes as I looks unsure for a moment before answering. If he can truly do what he has promised then I say go for it after all it can't be worse than what your brother will do, I said just before the doors opened up and a man walked inside closing the doors after him. Oh, what is this about a promise and what I will do? The man that looks like a black haired Jin from Bleach asks in an extremely arrogant tone. Nothing much just getting rid of you and having your brother literally take your place answers Naruto's human path from his place up in the selling scaring the crap out of everybody in the room before continuing. Now then Jin-sama from what I heard it would seem that you are going to accept my offer, correct? Naruto asks earning a nod from Jin. Great then let's begin. Naruto happily says sends chakra to his eyes and cast a powerful genjutsu over everyone in the room. Inside the genjutsu. Everyone finds themselves inside a large room full different decorations and near the end of the room there was a table with four chairs. Now don't worry I'm a professional and best of all is that I got friends on the other side, Naruo says as creepy echo was heard. That's an echo gentleman, a little parlor trick don't worry, Naruto said as he lead the trio towards the table. Start to watch or listen to, friends on the other side. From Disney's Princess and the Frog up to the point where they sit down and just picture Naruto in Dr. Facilier's place, the couple in the Prince's place and Kinjin in Lawrence's place. The three just looked at Naruto like he was completely insane Naruto's smile suddenly turned into a somewhat evil smirk before asking, are you ready? Start to watch or listen to the part where the Prince is turned into a frog and just put Kinjin in his place. And as the lights goes out the Genjutsu ends. Outside the Genjutsu. Naruto smiled as he saw them waking up from the genjutsu not knowing that while they were trapped in it Naruto had used Tamashi no Koken, exchange of souls asterisk to switch the two brothers bodies along with placing a few seals on one of them. Kinjin now inside the younger brother's body died from the shock of realizing that he lost everything leaving Naruto and the other two so that they can come up with cover stories for all the things that are going to happen in peace. In the end the story would be that Kinjin would turn over a new leaf and be a kinder and better person as was asked by his brother just before he died along with a few other details. Well it has been fun but I got go now since I have some other things to take care of but don't worry I have ways to contact you, Naruto says before disappearing with a puff of smoke. With the main Naruto, Naruto smiled as Hinata was sighting in his lap as they watched the sun go down before saying softly. Today has been a wonderful day and yet for some reason I feel that there is still one more good thing left to happen. I wonder what it could be kufufufufu, after that Naruto just continued to enjoy the sunset. With Kagero, Kagero was looking at the strange thing in front of him, he was well aware that you could to some seriously freaky shit with chakra but to literally grow an army now that is something but anyway he already put the seal plates that Naruto had sent him into the back of the ghetto manzo now there was just one thing left to do. 
Kagero held up a pair of seal-covered plates made from Naruto's chakra receiver metal and then placed them against the Shodaim Hokage face of the cloning thing and the plates just seemed to sink into it without leaving a trace. With that Kagero took one last look at the army of Zetsu clones before sneaking out if that place with incredible stealth, or what would have been incredible stealth if he hadn't been humming the Mission Impossible music. Naruto was at the moment sighting in his house as his team was out doing D ranks along with a cage bunchen. Naruto and Kyo were working on Naruto's body as well as few things in Naruto's dimension which has been named Yumi no Kuni. One of the things they were doing at the moment was fusing another pair of Rinnegan, Sharingan and Shistuagan with Naruto while he was eating more of the chakra meat that he collected from the different biju this would make the fusing easier and more effective which is very good since each time a new pair of eyes is added Naruto seems gains less and less from them until he gains nothing from adding more eyes to his own. However Naruto has discovered a side effect of this, and that is that Kyo also is affected by his eating as three of his tails have changed to look like the ones that the other three biju have something that Kyo sulking for five hours before Naruto willed them to change back. He also has invented a new ability when he was experimenting with his different powers in an attempt to recreate the power of someone else that he saw when he gazed into another reality. The one who he is trying to copy was known as Archer, a man who could create an unlimited amount of weapons. Yeah it is Archer from Fate Stay Night. And while somewhat different since while it can create or copy any weapon thanks to Naruto's eye being able to analyze and memorize them he can't see their history and automatically learn how to use the weapons, it is still a really useful ability and he might be able to find a way to fully copy the ability later on. But enough about Archer Naruto has had him on his mind all the time when he wrote down Archer's life and adventure into one of his books while thinking how funny it is that people will believe it to be a made up story when it is in fact a real life story. Hey Kyo with these improvements what would you say my overall power would be? Naruto asked the fox. Hum, well that would depend on how you look at things since if for example your prey to path were to fight someone who mostly uses ninjutsu then it would be much easier than a taijutsu specialist. But I would say that each of your bodies is around mid chunin in taijutsu and kenjutsu thanks to the training regiment you got from that freaky green thing. As for ninjutsu each of your paths are easily mid jonin since you can use sub elements and barley need any hand seals and would have been high jonin if you had more experience. Kyo answers as sits down and lets Naruto scratch him behind the ears before continuing. Your genjutsu is mid chunin when as comes to casting thanks to your eyes and the Kurama's illusion affinity while detecting and dispelling is low cage to be honest but that's only because of your eyes since you are just not a genjutsu type of person, Kyo says as he gets up and follows Naruto towards another room. So when it comes to combat you are somewhat well rounded and would have a good chance of winning against up to low John and after that then you will start to have trouble unless you can surprise your opponents or they underestimate you which won't be too hard since you got a lot of abilities and are somewhat young and if that doesn't work, well you could always gang up on them in a 7 against 1 battle, Snickers, Kyo continues to say as he and Naruto enters a large circular room. As for your other skill that you don't use for combat all that much then your medical skill would good for first aid and those kind of basic things but not much else since you just don't have the control for it yet with your ridiculously large chakra reserves. You sealing however are very good in fact you are most likely one of the top seal master alive in the world but then Uzumaki's always were among the best when it came to seals and you know how to use them as traps so no need to worry about that. As for your stealth without jutsu that while good is not something to brag about finally your information gathering skills well. With the powers of the human path and the spies of the animal path I can honestly say that you got that covered, Kyo finishes. Wait what about my skills with shuriken and other throwing weapons you know accuracy, Naruto asks walks up to a large hole in the floor. Raises an eyebrow, air. Kid you do remember your eyes right. You know see in slow motion and great detail along with all the other things. Kyo asks making Naruto scratch the back of his head sheepishly. Yeah stupid question. Anyway what do you think? Naruto asks making Kyo look around the room. The room was rather large and had a big hole in the middle of it. Just by the edge of the hole was what looked like a table and chair. On the table were a large number of seal, symbols and small screens with things written inside of them. But what really grabs the attention of those in the room would be that the table seemed to be made of some kind of white tree and the legs that are buried into the floor that seemed to be made from the receiver metal had branches growing from them over to and then down the hole. 
Down the hole openings can be seen in circles, six openings all placed in a ring along the walls of the hole and under that was another and another and so on until there was nine rings of openings and the white root-like branches growing down were growing one of the branches into each of the opening and connecting with the human-like thing standing inside each of the openings. Wow what the fuck is this and when the hell did you create it? Kyo asked in a shocked tone. Last night when you were out hunting that giant rabbit pig hybrid thing that is roaming around one of the lakes a few miles from here, Naruto answers causing Kyo to start to drool thinking about the weird creature. As for what it is well you remember when Kagero reported of him finding the ghetto Mazo inside the asterisk Sengaku no Hakaba well after that he went and investigated a bit more and ending up finding two other things Madara's laboratory and some weird cloning lotus thing made from the Shodime's cells apparently. When he reported this I was at first going to order him to blow the whole place to the moon but I then figured that Madara might be able to rebuild it somewhere else and then he would know that someone is aware of his existence and start to be more careful while we would not know where he would have rebuilt, Naruto explained before starting to push a few of the symbols on the table before continuing. So I sent him a few of the special seal plates we created. One is inside Madara's lab letting us spy on him and if the need arises create a really big explosion. Two other plates were put inside the ghetto Mazo so I can summon and control it without having to synchronize aka have spikes rammed into my back as well as let me draw a bit on the power of the biju that gets sealed inside and steal some of the chakra meat, earning an annoyed look from Kyo since his tails keep changing from that it also makes it so that if you ever get sealed. Well let's just say you'll like it kufufufu, Naruto says getting a curious look from Kyo before continuing. As for the last two plates they were put into the Shodime cloning thing as while they aren't slowing down the growth of the clones since Madara might notice they are instead hollowing out the clones, taking away a good deal of their mass making them weaker, as for the mass that is stolen it is transferred here into this world where I am using it for a little somethings of my own. Naruto finishes Kyo just looks at the things in the hole having a hard time believing that they are made from one of the few people that could control him, it was then he noticed something. The clones were all very pale, had no gender as could be seen since they were naked, had no hair and their eyes were closed but the ones in the first two rings did have somethings that Kyo knew the real Shodime Hokage didn't have. The two red dots of the Kagaya clan could be seen on the foreheads. The veins near the temples were bulged like those of an active Byakugan user. On each hand was a mark that resembles two black diamonds, the mark of a Maiden user. There was also spots at random place on the bodies that looked just like Jugo's body when he uses the asterisk Tishonoro that he has. I can see that you noticed that I have added some things to the first two sets, or to be more precise I have added everything I could, all the bloodline limits that we have collected were added into the mix when I started growing them, the only exception was the Uzumaki bloodline since it is based on the soul and these things are completely soulless, Naruto explained Kyo simply starred before turning towards Naruto. Well, holy crap I guess, so what are you going to do with them, use them as an army? Kyo asks. No I made it so that Zetsu would have no control over them at all, so I made sure that that there is no connection between them whatsoever which in turn has made them all, brain dead I guess you can say, Naruto answered. Really so what are they for in that case, Kyo asks making Naruto just smile a bit more. Oh that is a surprise for some other time but anyway I got to go since it is time for me to go see Hinata, Naruto says as he disappears from the room. Kyo just looked at where he was standing a few seconds ago before leaving to hunt for the rabbit pig hybrid. Outside the mindscape, Naruto got up on his feet and went over to the closet wondering what he should wear. After a short while he decided for a replication of one of the many different cloths he has seen in other worlds, he is now dressed like Jin from Bleach after he joined Aizen and went to Hueco Mundo, and with his headband around his neck. Perfect closes his eyes, now then, snaps his eyes open, Jiku no Ana, Naruto whispered before blurring for a fraction of a second and then disappears. A field of flowers. Naruto reappears in a field full of different flowers right next to a small rock with seal on it made from his blood and smiles at the wonderful asterisk Jikuken Jutsu he gained from the Aen no Mangekyo Sharingan. But he can't help but mentally frown since he has been having some trouble with all of the Jutsu he gets from the Mangekyo and Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan with the exception of his own unique one which he can use just fine, the other however all take more chakra and are weaker than they should. Kyo claims it is a side effect of obtaining them in such an unusual way and that Naruto will have to train and get used to them before they can be used correctly. 
Still the one he can use is really something, it is like a fusion between Madara's asterisk Jikuken Ido and Minato's asterisk Horishin. Jiku no Ana lets Naruto transport himself anywhere he can see or has a piece of him like some blood nearby. The transportation appears to be instantaneous like the Horishin the reason for this is that when the jutsu is used everything exempt Naruto is frozen in time and a portal opens between Naruto's location and wherever he is trying to go. Naruto is then pulled into the portal and once he is at the other side he has one and a half second to move around and chose a position or stance before time start again. He cannot however interact with anything or move a part of himself closer than 5 centimeters to a part of someone else when time is frozen unless it is just after he started the jutsu that along with the fact that after using it a small amount of time needs to pass before it can be used again are this jutsu's greatest weaknesses. Naruto doesn't use the other Mangekyo jutsu unless he is training with them but enough about that since he can see Hinata coming. With the Asura path and the Sandame Hokage. So Naruto kun how have things been going lately? Sarutobi asked. Good, while it is hard to many so many things going on at the same time is somewhat difficult it is nothing I can't handle, Naruto answers. Splendid but could you please go through these project of yours and also give me an update on them so I know how they're going. Sarutobi requested getting a nod from Naruto who cleared his throat before starting. First of all, project clan creation is going well. Children are given small tests to see what kind of talents, personality and other such things they have so we will know what clan they would fit in with the best. Not only that but thanks to the authority you gave me I have been able to send out some of the village shinobi to many places in fire country where you can find orphanages and homeless children and make it so that they are transferred here. Once we can no longer find any in this country we can while a lot more secretly start to do the same in other countries, and by doing so increasing the number of candidates and even if they are not chosen this will still increase the amount of potential shinobi in the future, Naruto said earning a nod from Sarutobi since even if they weren't chosen to join a clan those children would most likely still become shinobi in the future. Second is Project Blood Forge, when I first started this one I have a good deal of hope for it. This project was to be used together with the clan creation by giving a fitting bloodline limit to increase the power of each of those clans but I had some trouble when it came to giving the limits in a safe way. The closest I came was with that elemental clan but it is more of a asterisk hinjutsu than a bloodline limit since I place a seal that draws out and increases the affinity but it has to be put on someone young who already has an affinity which is rare. But luckily I have had a breakthrough recently and have finished the place where it is all done so I will most likely have the blood forge up and running as soon as I sure that I it's safe. Naruto continued to say getting a pleased look from the Hokage since bloodline limits while not invincible are useful and unlike with Orochimaru Naruto is careful not to cause any innocent people harm. Then there is the Grand Armory project, the idea of this project comes in two parts the first is about the safety of our weapons. It is really simple to be honest all weapons that are special will have seals put on them that links them to scrolls inside the armory. A person will earn the honor of signing it like it was a summoning scroll since that is actually what it is. The person will then be able to summon the weapon which will be summoned back to the armory if the one who signed its scroll dies or someone else holds it for 5 seconds. The weapon can also be summoned back by using the scroll itself so if the one who has been given the weapon turns traitor then it can be taken back and their names removed from the scroll. Naruto said before stopping in order to catch his breath as Sarutobi once again nods since this would prevent things like the theft of the Nadimes region from happening again. The second part of this project is also very simple but not as easy as the first one. The second part is about creating weapons and maybe other items. In fact I already have some ideas but you'll have to wait and see for that. Naruto finished getting a raised eyebrow from Sarutobi at what kind of weapons Naruto had in mind. The last of this group of projects is, special, Naruto admits earning a confused look from the Hokage. It is called Archive, a collection of all kinds of information going from Jutsu. Shinobi tactics and ninja profiles to things like gardening, history and daily events, not only that but it is linked to my spy network which has been greatly improved since now all my spies have better information gathering abilities and since they are connected to the archive it is constantly being updated, it even has a kind of artificial intelligence allowing it to categorize the information it has as well as separate correct and incorrect information from each other, which is why this project is far more dangerous than the others. After all there is a saying that says that knowledge is power, 
Well if that is true then the archive can turn a man into something close to a god. Naruto finished in a very serious tone while the Hokage was staring at him with wide eyes as he understood what it was he was talking about. If only he knew that Naruto has used the Edo Tensai to summon several people and made a one-way connection between them and the archive so that their knowledge was added as well even if they were unaware that they had even been summoned because of the kind of seal that was put into them. Then the old monkey would have most likely died from a heart attack. I see. I hope you have some kind of way to make sure none of these things end up the wrong hands, Sarutobi says in a serious tone as well. Of course I have an I'm sorry but I can't tell you what those are along with the locations of all of this, it is just that I can't risk that this office has a bug or something, Naruto says getting a nod of understanding since Sarutobi knows that there are some people that would actually try and spy on him, somewhere else Danzo sneezes. Well if there is nothing else you want to know then I'll be leaving after all I promised your little grandson Konohamaru that I would share some of my skills in romance and the like so he can be that same way with Hanabi as I am with Hanada, Naruto said as he jumped out the window. With the human path in some random town. So if you are so sure that you're going to win why don we raise the stakes some more, Naruto's human path suggested as he was sighting down in a casino under a special henge gambling against the legendary sucker herself. Tsunade for her part was feeling confidant, the fact that she was somewhat drunk might have played a part as well but it was mostly because she had such a good hand. Fine, anything you want in particular since I have no more money to bet with, Tsunade asked believing that it would be something perverted since that is usually what they want. Hum how about, that pretty little thing around your neck, Human Path said knowing that with her being a bit drunk would make her not notice the Sharingan hypnosis helped convince her to agree despite being a Sanin. Tsunade was surprised at first but she then figured that her opponent knew how much the necklace was worth, and while she was unsure if this really was a good idea the fact was that that her hand was the second highest you could get in this game so she removed it from her neck and placed it the middle of the table on top of all the money and other items most of which are scrolls in Tsunade's case. Naruto then gained a small frown. Tsunade assumed that he had been trying to bluff her but the real reason was something else that if not for where he is then Naruto would have most likely blown something up in anger. With the Naruto's Naraka path somewhere inside Yumi no Kuni. The Naraka path however was standing on a large piece of earth big enough to be small country that was floating in the sky along with a few more and therefore could throw a temper tantrum without any problems, as for what it is that has Naruto so pissed of well it turns out that one of the biju. The Yandi to be exact just got sealed and the chakra that was sent down into the cloning lotus ended up damaging one of the, the seal plates a bit making it less effective by a noticeable amount. So Naruto relived some of his anger by having the Naraka path punch the ground while yelling out several curses, this however caused the whole floating island to break, crumble and pretty much split in two. Kyo who was munching on what looked like a giant chicken on another floating island didn't even blink when it happened however he did raise an eyebrow when the whole thing started putting itself back together. Watch the Naruto Shippuden opening 9 and you'll be able to see what the floating island and it breaking would look like in the first 20 seconds or so, the part where his repairs itself come a little later. When he turned his attention back to his meal he found out that he had been surrounded by hundreds of giant chickens and they looked pissed, and they had weapons. Fuck, was Kyo's only thought as they attacked. Back with the human path. Shizun couldn't believe it. Sure the part about her entering the casino and seeing Tsunade just lose she could believe but not the fact that on top of the winnings of this gamble that had been put into a bag was the Shodime's necklace. Tsunade-sama, why in world does that man have your necklace? Shizun asked making Tsunade snap out of the shock of losing Naruto just smiled. Because she lost it to me of course. After all this is a casino, Naruto answered. But that necklace is cursed only Tsunade-sama can wear it without risk of death, Shizun says trying to convince the man to give it back. It is sad how ignorant you are about what you're dealing with but it doesn't matter anymore since with this some of the mistakes of the past have mostly been undone. The Senju were given this and the rope to protect but they traded the rope away for a false promise of peace and forgot the truth about the necklace. The Uchiha were given the sword and gourd to guard but instead they used them to intimidate their enemies who eventually killed them and took the items. And finally the Uzumaki who tried to keep the fan and pot safe and hidden but since neither Senju or Uchiha could keep their mouths shut about the items they were found and their guardians killed. Now after so long all of the six treasures will soon be back in the hands of someone who was meant to have them.
Naruto says loudly getting the attention of most people nearby and confused looks from Tsunade and Shizun. And then Naruto held up the necklace which started to glow as it started to change. After the transformation was complete it was revealed that the Shodime's necklace had been transformed into a Magatama necklace. And with this the true identity of the necklace of the Shodime Hokage has been revealed so behold, the asterisk Yasukani no Magatama that once rested around the neck of the Sage of Six Path himself and the most powerful one of the his six treasured tools, Naruto exclaimed loudly getting shocked looks from everybody there. Now I believe it is time to take my leave also Tsunade-san the curse only affect those who haven't somehow earned or won the necklace, and with that Naruto's human path disappeared in a cloud of smoke as it was summoned by the animal path. With Naruto and Hinata, Naruto and Hinata was at the moment on their way to the Hokage Tower, Hinata so that she can meet up with her team again since Kurenai had given them a break after a particular hard D rank and Naruto because his cage bunshin is at its limit. Before that they had been either training or just spending time together, speaking of training Hinata has been progressing very well both in her taijutsu and in medical jutsu thanks to the scrolls Naruto had started bringing her after he learned of her interest in healing, there are of course other things that they train in but this was they were doing this time. As they neared the place where missions are given out they finish eating a few special food pills doing their best not to throw up since while Tsunade had made them during the war so that they had everything a person would need and more as well as speed up a person's healing rate a bit but they tasted so terrible that after the war nobody wanted to even see the things but Naruto and Hinata endured knowing that it is for the best. Also Hinata believes that the pills are the reason for Tsunade's breast size making her more willing to take them. As they enter Naruto replaces his bunshin who nobody was paying attention to since both Sasuke and Kiba was complaining about not getting better missions. Enough since you all want a higher mission team 7 and team 8 will get a C rank mission together, now Mr. Tazuna come in, Sarutobi said as a drunk enters the room. Babysitting a old man, great, was the only thought in Naruto's head as he headed home in order to prepare for tomorrow. With Naruto. Today was the day when Naruto would officially leave the village for the first time, as he started to get dressed he went over a small checklist. 1. Getting dressed, is being done now. 2. Synchronize his paths, was done last night before going to bed. 3. Think of a good place to take Hanada on a date, was done shortly after waking up. 4. Eat breakfast, was done 5 minuets ago. 5. Search for some information on the archive to see if anything interesting is currently happening, not done yet. After that Naruto had finished dressing and now was dressed the same way he was yesterday and started heading towards the village gates to meet with all the others. As he was walking around yellow screen and a similar looking keyboard appeared and started floating in front of him. It looks the same way as when Hibiki uses archive in fairy tale. Now let's see if the archive has anything interesting for me. Naruto said mentally as he read the texts and other things that appeared on the screen. Hamin Konoha nothing too interesting is happening, the civilian council is trying to get back the power they lost when half of them got thrown into jail after which they had to get new members. Yeah not happening if I have something to say about it which I in fact do other than that only Danzo and a few minor things are worth paying attention to now then. Things outside of Konoha hum. The daimyo of bird country is sick from a poison which means that if I heal him and I'll most likely get the support of another daimyo so I'll send my prey to path there. And what is this? A girl who from what the spies can tell from analyzing her chakra and blood is both a Jinchuriki and a close relative of the rebel leader in water country Kufufufu it will be interesting to meet you Amaru Turumi. Naruto's thought however were cut short as he arrived at the gate with team 8, Sakura, Sasuke and Tazuna already being there. And so the mission to wave begins, and two pain in the necks for Hina-chan are soon gone. Dot. Inside the Hyuga clan home, Harufu and Hikado Hyuga has always liked to believe that everything they did was for the good of the clan, this is a complete lie of course since they have always been the first to protest any changes in the clan during clan meetings and are almost fanatical when it comes to the Byakugan and the caged bird seal which is why they are currently fighting for their lives against two of the three intruders. It was so strange. The first one just appeared out of the floor in a chakra-filled cloak before somehow summoning two more people before going over to a corner and just started to watch the fight. The two Hyugas were holding out pretty well as they were waiting for the sound of the fighting to draw the attention of the other Hyugas. Hikado's fight. 
Hikato just managed to dodge a stab from a metal spike and deliver a junkin strike into arm holding it and as the weapon fell to the ground he sent another and another and so on pushing his opponent back. It didn't take long before half of the asterisk tenkatsu was closed and Hikato's opponent fell to the ground but in that moment Hikato saw his opponent smile and raise his right arm which then was fired like a missile, and it missed, Hikato was just about to finish the downed opponent of when everything turned black. Harufu's fight Harufu was not having a good time, while his first strike was good his second one resulted in a burned hand as his opponent was covered in fire making it so Harufu had to coat his hands in chakra to hit him without getting hurt himself. However Harufu had cut of the chakra to his opponent's left arm so that he should no longer be able to use ninjutsu, that was however proved wrong as the opponent fired a fist sized ball of fire past him. This caused Harufu to panic as he knew that in battle both he and Hikido has habit of ignoring everything except their opponents but before he had a chance to call out to his fellow Hayuga everything turned black. Dot. The fight was over and with that the animal path merged with the floor using a Mokuden Jutsu to leave and then summon the Asura and Naraka path some place away from the Hayuga compound after they started a small fire as well as removed the seal tags in the room that stopped anyone from hearing or sensing the chakra coming from the room. Dot. Back with Naruto, hey, that's what you get for saying that my Hina-chan should be put into the branch family, was Naruto's thoughts as he watched Tazuna trying to guilt everyone into continuing the mission after the demon brothers had attacked and been defeated without much difficulty. Naruto then ignored Kakashi as he told everybody that they would be continuing the mission as he was more interested in how it sneak away with Hinata so they could have some private make-out time without anyone noticing. Suddenly Naruto smiled, finally, dot. Yumi no Kuni. Naruto's diva path was at the moment inside the large palace-like castle that stood on the floating island in the center of Yumi no Kuni. He was currently inside a large room with several white trees with purple spots, black leaves and a few weird red fruits growing out of the floor, there is also a black tree with white leaves in the middle of the room. This is the blood forge. The trees were made from the mass that is being stolen from Madara's Zetsu clones and altered in several ways mostly using Jugo's Tishanoroa because its ability to change and mutate a person's body. And now after so long it can be used to give a person a bloodline limit without the risk of them turning into a pile of mutated flesh as Naruto discovered by using his Shodime clones as test subjects. Each tree gives a different bloodline limit but they have a limit of how many time they can be used which can be seen by the number of fruits they have that will be used in the giving of the bloodline limit and will grow back after an undetermined amount of time. The black tree however does not give a bloodline instead it is used either to evolve a limit or take it away completely. Dot. Back with Naruto. Duck. Kakashi shouted making everyone drop to the ground as a huge sword passed over their heads before embedding itself in a tree and a man appeared standing on it. Well if it isn't the famous Kakashi of the Sharingan and Kurunai Konoha's illusion mistress, no wonder the demon brothers failed, anyway hand over the old man and we'll let you leave, the man said. The demon of the mist Zabuza I wait what do you mean we when there is only you here? Kakashi asked and got his answer when a man walked out from behind the tree Zabuza was in holding a very familiar sword. Aoi Rokusho a missing nin from Konoha who stole the Nadaim's sword, Kurunai says as the man smirks as the activates the sword. Actually the one who stole it was a genin named Idate or something, Aoi just went and stole it from him since he was too much of a to do it himself. Naruto corrects her making Aoi growl at the insult and Zabuza to snicker as he found Aoi to be an annoying fool and disgrace to real swordsmen everywhere. With that Aoi charged forward only for Kurunai to cast a genjutsu over him before engaging him in battle. Aoi of course dispelled the genjutsu almost immediately and started to fight her. As for Zabuza and Kakashi it was mostly just like in canon except when Kakashi entered the water Kurunai had also ended up there during her fight with Aoi. Asterisk Sweden. Swiro. Zabuza called out as he appeared behind both Kakashi and Kurunai trapping them in two spheres of water. Wow, I already knew that Kakashi would forever be blue bald but Kurunai was a shock since she is a woman, Naruto said getting a WTF look from everyone. Air right. Anyway Aoi you go and take care of the old man while I hold these two, Zabuza said. Of course I have to be the one to complete the mission but then it is to be expected but in return I get first dibs at Kurunai and the Hyuga since virgins are the best. Aoi said with a look that made his intentions clear getting either a disgusted, scared or angry look from the people there, 
even Zabuza had a look of anger and disgust since while being called a demon he had not gone so low that he would do such things. As for Naruto well, I'm going to fucking rip his balls off and replace them with his eyes then I am gonna slowly burn of his legs before I slice off his arms and start beating him with the bloody ends and finally when he starts to beg for death I will cut open his torso and take a crap on his hopefully still beating heart before shoving an explosion tag up his ass and watch him go boom. Naruto medanly ranted not realizing that he was also somewhat mumbling out his intentions to that others could hear him. With the exception of Hinata who was flattered by how protective he was being, those who heard him was seriously freaked out. Sneers like some genin could even put a scratch on me, I have the rage and no ken, I am invincible, Aoi says as he runs toward the genin. Shino sent out some of his bugs but Aoi used the sword to fry them. After that Sasuke and Kiba attacked with Kiba and Akamaru attacking from the sides while Sasuke came from the front. Aoi dodged by jumping up in the air and threw up his umbrella which released a shower of Sanban needles that rained down on the two genins and ninja dog. Well that was certainly unexpected. Not. I mean god you would think that they would at least try to come up with a plan to deal with a Jonin. Okay a Jonin who is only on that level thanks to the sword that makes up foe his lack of real skill but still a Jonin nonetheless Naruto mentally complained while also trying to think of a plan since Aoi was considered around mid Jonin in terms of power with is above what Naruto can normally deal with and still have a good chance of winning. Okay he has shown that he can attack at long range with that umbrella. He dispelled Kurenai's genjutsu shortly after it was cast and getting close to him when he has that sword is. Hum it is a bit risky but worth a try. With his plan in mind Naruto started to walk towards Aoi turn towards him. Smirks Aoi Rokusho, AA rank missing nin, yeah right the only reason you have that rank is because to you have the Nadime's sword, a sword that you are way too weak and unskilled to use properly honestly Aoi Baka you're pathetic, Naruto said mockingly making Aoi go red in the face in anger. Why you fucking piece of shit? Aoi yells out in rage as he quickly runs forward and makes a horizontal swing with the sword. As he does this Naruto sends a good amount of chakra into his left arm and gets ready as the blad comes nearer and then, he quickly trusts his left arm out and grabs Aoi's wrist stopping the swing before jamming in a chakra disruptor rod into the elbow part of Aoi's arm making him drop the sword which Naruto kicks away towards the genin group. So I was right, you depend on the sword power so much that you never bother to learn how to cully fight with a sword and without it you are nothing. Naruto says as he kicks Aoi in the stomach sending him back a bit. It was also then that Hinata threw a handful of shurikens as Ibuza who had to let go of his prisoners since both his hands were stuck otherwise. After that Aoi ran of like a little bitch, Kurenai returned to the genin group since she was mostly out of chakra and Kakashi and Zabuza did the cannon fight and what happened after. And finally the Konoha shinobi reached Tazuna's house where they meet his daughter Tsunami and grandson Inari. Dot. Some time later, Zabuza is still alive, Kakashi said in a serious tone getting shocked looks from almost everybody in the room. Yeah yeah, the hunter Nin was on his side and used Sanban to put him in false death state in order to get him out of there without us trying to stop it, now please let me get back to more important things like spoiling Hinata, Naruto said in an annoyed tone as he held up a strawberry in front of Hinata who was sitting in his lap while mentally kicking himself as he did not realize Zabuza was alive until Kakashi said so despite how he may have acted. Glares at Naruto, it will take about a week to recover from a false death state so until then we will give you all some extra training, Kakashi says getting everyone's attention. Later that day, alright we are going to show you how to perform the tree walking exercise. Kakashi said with a happy voice not noticing Kurenai's surprised look. You mean you haven't already done that? Kakashi I taught my genins how to do that one the third day after I got them. Kurenai exclaimed before starting to rant on Kakashi after telling Shino tell team 7 how to the exercise. While all this was happening Naruto was high up in one of the trees holding his hand against his left ear. So the fire daimyo agrees to the offer you sent him. Good but that is all for now I'll contact you if something more come up, do you understand Kinjin? Naruto asked mentally and actually received an answer. Yes Rinne-san, don't worry I can see how all this will be good for my country despite what some of my advisors say, came the voice of the earth daimyo. And that is why I made sure that it was your butt that would sit on the throne of earth country, Naruto said before cutting of his connection with him, 
and can't help but feel a little guilty since while Earth Country will benefit from all this in the end it is Konoha or more specifically Naruto that gets the biggest piece of the cake. Now then, Shiro report, Naruto called out in his head. Yes Rene Sama, the rebel forces have gone into hiding at the moment after getting a message saying the princess has been found, most likely they are waiting for her to arrive in Snow Country before doing anything else. Other than that only the fact that a more powerful version of the chakra armor is to be made for Dodo I along with those who are loyal to Dodo have already started working on it, was the answer Naruto received from what sounded like a woman. Make sure you copy all the blueprints and write down anything else that you believe important and hand it over to one of the summons also if you get the chance send as many parts and such for the armors as well, besides that there is nothing else for you to do at the moment so until next time, bye. Naruto removed his hand and jumped down and for the rest of the day everyone wondered why he had a smile that screamed success. Dot. With the human path the next day. The human path was wandering around a small village under a henge that removed his whiskers and turned his hair black in weed country, a small mostly unimportant island that can be found south of tea country. So with one do you think it is? Naruto asks the demon inside of him. Well I know it is not Doku since he was sealed into a freaking rock and launched into the sky by some moron that tried to imitate the Rokuto Senen, Genshi was sealed into the Kurama clan's ancestor and is now stuck inside the current clan heir so it is not her and Morio got his ass handed to him by some priestess in demon country, that idiot leech Kai is in that Turumi girl and that just leaves the fatty, Kyo answered as Naruto tried to find anything strange in the area. Of course with his eyes he quickly found a chakra signature that for some reason made him want to vomit some distance away from the village. Hey Kyo please tell me that's not what we are looking for. Naruto begged despite knowing that the answer will not be what he begs for. Sorry kid but it is, it is without a doubt the fat one, Kyo says as he makes a expression of disgust. You never did go into detail about these demons you told me about Naruto says as he started to walk in the direction of the signature doing his best to ignore the people around him that were clearly both poor and sick knowing that the most likely cause of it all soon will be taken care of. Okay as you know back when the Jubi was still running around there was several other lesser demon around the world since at the time nobody could use chakra so it was not an easy task to kill even one of the weakest demons. Unlike now when except for the biju who are near impossible to kill all other demons have been hunted down and destroyed, Jubi had a small group of demons as his servants. Doku the dragon who was mostly known for his dense light purple chakra and high chakra reserves and control. Genshi the illusionist that could actually make illusions that are so real that the brain forced the body to match the illusions. Morio the hydra who had a habit of consuming humans and steal their power. Kai the leech who also feed on humans but more along the lines of their emotions and such due to his dark chakra ability but it appears that he also has been sealed. And all care the, piss, crap and fart demon would be the most accurate way to describe him I mean for Kami's sake would it kill him to take a fucking bath once a year or so, sure he is a demon of rot, disease and decay but still the mere memory of his smell make me want to throw up, also he is the one we are going to now, Kyo said as Naruto neared to place. It was a small old shrine with a few cracks standing inside a bunch of old ruins also the ground around it was completely dead and smelled awful. Naruto pulled out a scroll that he rolled out and channeled chakra into. With that three clouds of smoke appeared and the diva, animal and naraka path stepped out of them. The naraka path was also holding a round seal covered crystal orb the size of his head in his hands the three other paths then started to paint seals at different places around the shrine. After that the diva, Animal and human path positioned themselves around the shrine in a triangle formation while the Naraka path stood a bit farther away with the orb. Shira Tensai. The diva path said with his hand towards the shrine which was blown away revealing a hole under it along with the fact that the underside of the shrine was covered in seals. And then there was nothing but silence. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Boo ha ha ba ha. Cough ha ha was the sound that came as a large amount of greenish-brown smoke and a skeleton glowing with a sickly green chakra flew out of the hole before exploding letting out even more chakra with then along with the smoke moved to the ground and started to form into something all while a demonic voice could be heard echoing around the hole. Yes, finally after so long I can once again walk this world in flesh, bone and bile ga ha ha ha. Was the sound of the demon as it finished manifesting allowing Naruto to see what it looks like. 
Not sure how to describe it but it looks like Ulcare from Dawn of War 2 just look it up on Google or something. Shira Tensai. Diva Naruto called out letting the gravity attack plow right into the demon pushing it back several feet after which it started laughing before rushing at the diva path. Blood for the Plage Lord. Ulcar yelled out as he made a vertical slash with its sword down on the diva path who jumped to the left and instead was sent flying from a demon fist to the stomach making the demon laugh even more. Kuchio's animal path said as he placed his hands on the ground and large cloud of smoke appeared. A black ram the size of a large horse burst from the smoke and headed towards the demon. Ulcar turned around just in time for the ram to plow straight into its visible and rotting intestines, and then explode. This succeeded in harming Ulcare, it also succeeded in pissed it of. Ulcare was now running toward the animal path as fast as its fat body allowed it while the animal path was making hand seals. Asterisk Shakudan. Das we know she, human path called out sending the orange ball at one of the demon's legs. Ulcare at this point was so pissed that it didn't even notice that its right leg was dehydrated to the point of turning to dust and instead pulled its arm back and then threw its sword with such speed that the human path didn't have a chance to dodge even with the Sharingan's abilities since the body was not fast enough. Ulcare then turned back back towards the animal path but ended coming face to face with the diva path who clapped his hands together and called out. Asterisk Ura Shinra Seiatsu and with that Ulcare and anything else not stuck to the ground started to float up of the ground. Ulcare started to roar in anger and swing its limbs around. Asterisk Mokuden. Akuma no Yona Hokai. Animal shouted as he finished the hand seals after which five seal-covered trees bust from the ground under the floating demon who had just fired a greenish-brown ball of slime at the diva path which hit and melted half of him. The five trees pierced Ulcare's limbs and stomach making it scream and trash around in pain as its flesh seemed to burn and turn to ash when it came in contact with the seals on the trees. As Ulcare was screaming the Naraka who had just finished fixing the human and diva path walked forward with the orb which was glowing with the same chakra as Ulcare. When he was under the demon he threw to orb up where it hit Ulcare's back and then started to sink into it. Ulcare then turned black like all of its body had been badly burnt and then it fell apart into a pile of ash leaving only the orb which now looked like it was completely made out of its chakra. The path smiled for the capture of Ulcare the great unclean one was a success. Good work kid with this things will be a bit easier, Kyo says as the diva path placed the orb against his seal and in was sucked in. Yeah but still I can't say I'm all that comfortable with having this disgusting thing in my world Naruto mentally told Kyo. It can't be helped kit, with all those projects my chakra is being drained half fast as I can replenishing it, but now with the fatty acting as a battery I won't need to send any more chakra to the blood forge and maybe even more projects since while not the most powerful in the Jubi's servant group Ulcare did have the one of the biggest chakra reserves along with being the second best when it came to replenishing chakra, Kyo says as he watched the orb enter the world he is in. Anything else Ulcare might be good for. Naruto mentally asks he wills long pipes and cables to attache themselves to the orb. Hum, now that I think about it we don't need Ulcare's mind only its chakra since like mine it can easily affect living things but I could tear its mind apart and after washing away the unwanted part use it to increase the intelligence of the archive, Kyo answers making Naruto nod. Great add in the fact that we can also use the Yonbi's chakra thanks to the seal plates in the statue and we can have more than enough chakra for the still developing projects Naruto said as the paths disappeared thanks to the Asura path using a scroll to summon them. Dot. Back with the original Naruto. Naruto was at the moment sitting in a forest clearing with Hinata in his arms enjoying the moment when someone entered. Hello. Naruto said as he and Hinata smiled at the newcomer. Hello. The person said. Names Naruto and the princess in my arm is Hinata, Naruto said earning a blush from Hinata and a smile from the person. My name is Haku, Haku said making Naruto and Hinata smile. It has been four days since Naruto and Hinata meet their new friend Haku and the three of them were at the moment sitting in Tazuna's house eating dinner with everybody else. Hinata and Haku had become very good friends right of the bat and even more so when they found out that they both was interested in healing and similar stuff. After dinner Naruto went up onto the roof in order to take a look at the archive and see how it has been improved after increasing its intelligence and so that he wouldn't be tempted to spy on Hinata, Haku and Tsunami when they were taking a bath together. 
As Naruto was laying on his back looking up into the sky when he raised his hand and started to scratch around his collarbone where he had a tattoo of the Yasukani Magatama. Hey Kyo how long until the Magatama is completely bonded to me cause it been itching for a while now? Naruto asks. Soon don't worry but I still say it would be better if you just wore the damn thing normally since then you would get the full benefit of it, Kyo answers. If I wear it then I would have a lot of people after me trying to get it, Naruto said while snapping his fingers making the yellow screen for the archive appear. Dot dot dot. Archive has been accessed. User Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze. User authorization confirmed. Attention the AI has made recommendations of information that it believes will be of personal interest to user that will be shown now. 1. Hyuga clan elders have shown to be getting more upset with Hinata's clear desire of removing the caged bird seal and uniting the head and branch parts of the clan along with Hinata's in their opinion on hyuga like behavior. 2. New genetics with special traits Belive to be bloodline limits has be found, collected and sent to storage area in Yumi no Kuni. 3. New blueprints and material has arrived from Spy in Snow Country. 4. New friend Haku is the hunter nin that saved Zabuza. Dot dot dot. Naruto stopped reading and was silent for a moment just laying there with his eyes wide before he had the archive show him more information on Haku. Dot. With the Asura path in the Hokage's office. So what is this latest project that you wanted to talk about? Sarutobi asked while paying close attention since so far all Naruto's projects have been absolutely amazing. I call it the Communications Array project which is a special radio tower and it can be used in three different ways. The first is for ninjas who will have seals that I made on their necks letting them talk with telepathy which in turn makes it so that sending messages will be silent and instantaneous as well as letting them report back to the village if something changes or goes wrong in their mission. The second is for personal use that uses small box like items called a denwa that are like radios but faster, has no limit to the range and lets you chose who to talk to by selecting a number since they all have different ones. The third kind can be used for several things and this one also has a screen that show images, an example of what it can be used for is having a few smaller screens sent to some of the important people of the world during the Chunin exams and those that would normally not be able to come for one reason or another may still watch the exams. The array will also have multiple frequencies and channels so that many can use it at the same time without interfering with each other, Naruto explains earning a interested look from Serutobi since those things would prove useful in different ways and once again Naruto has proved himself to be a very creative genius. If only he knew that Naruto had just used what he had learned about television and telephones by looking into different realities. Also old man I have already made arrangements to have the second and third kind transported and sold all around the world along with some other things with the help of a organization knows as the Satori Corporation, Naruto says getting a surprised look from the Hokage since that is the second largest one in the world lead by the person that is known as Rine. Dot. With Naruto. Okay so my new friend is an enemy, not a very pleasant surprise now what to do? Naruto mentally went over different things and then asked his furry friend a question. Hey Kyo do you think I am completely sane and not suffering from something like being bipolar, cause I can't help but think about how sometimes I get mad about how some people I don't even know get hurt and then later I myself can go and kill several people because it would benefit me without a care in the world and that is just one example. Kid you have had several abilities that are somehow connected to your brain and you have a whole world inside your head at this point I would be surprised if you didn't have a few. But don't worry I don't think you're going to go crazy and kill everybody since from what I've seen so far you are mostly only uncaring or happy about what most would call evil things when they somehow or can end up being beneficial or enjoyable for you and that's hardly a bad thing. Kyo said as he was working on something inside the building that he and Naruto has named the Shiroi Josai. Okay so I'm somewhat insane. Good to know, Naruto mentally said with a sweat drop. Dot. With Hanada, Haku and Suanami. While Naruto was coming to terms what he had learned the three females under the roof was currently talking about Hanada's tattoos. So what you are saying is that those marks do different things. Tsunami asks while thinking about how shinobis seem to be able to do anything. Yes that is correct for example these two here point at two seal between her breast, or something that Naruto came up with after the two of us talked about how shinobi art can be used to help in everyday things and the like, 
the ones I'm showing you now were made with mothers in mind as they lets a woman have more milk in her breast without changing the size as well as make the milk healthier, Hanada explained. Really, that's very interesting, do you have any more? Haku asked while taking closer look at Hanada's body which Hanada had no problems with. I also have some training seals, a few more personal ones and an anti-rape seal, Hanada answered getting the two's full attention as rape was something all women both civilian and shinobi feared. Say Hanada do you think I could get a seal like that? Haku asked with Tsunami nodding to show that she was interested as well. Yeah sure but Naruto is the only one who can make so he would need to see some of your more private parts, Hanada replied making the two blush at the thought. Wait does that mean that he has seen you naked? Tsunami asks. Yeah but he had already seen all of me before that when the two of us had fun. Hanada answered with a giggle getting surprised blushing faces from the other two since they understood what she meant. S so the two you. Haku trailed off getting a nod from Hanada. So Hanada how um? Did it feel? Tsunami asked a bit nervously getting a confused look from Hanada. Seeing the look Tsunami ended up telling them how the only time she ever done it was on her wedding night and that she drank so much that she no memories of it, she couldn't even tell that it had happened the day after when she woke up. By the time the three of them were finished bathing several thoughts were in their heads going from that Hanada is by and actually fantasied about having a foursome with them and Naruto to the fact that Haku is also by and she and Tsunami actually somewhat considers it. So once it was time for bed the three ended up having a few naughty dreams. Dot. The next day, Naruto was happy, why was Naruto happy? Because his paths had collected chakra meat from the other biju when the opportunity came because their hosts were training fighting or had lost control, not very much was taken but enough for what he had planned. Another thing he was happy about was that I had decided to do about Haku. One way or another Haku-chan will come with me and he and Ta-chan hopefully willingly but if not I'm sure Hanada and I can convince her that she'll get more happiness with us. And pleasure if Hanada has anything to say about it, Naruto mentally said while holding back a giggle and a blush since he and Hinata was at the moment helping Tsunami with breakfast and doing his best to not show that he saw the way she was looking at him and instead just gave her a charming smile making her blush a bit as he thought about what Hinata told him when they got up this morning that she and the other two talked about last night. So with that Naruto continued to help prepare the food when suddenly his head snapped up getting the attention of the two. Is something wrong Naruto-kun? Hinata asked. No not really, I just realized that I could have put a curse on Aoi when I stabbed him but I had honestly forgot that I could do that. Naruto answered just as he saw Tsunami slip and move to catch her but ended up slipping as well, or at least made it seem that way since he and Hinata had agreed to try and have a little fun with the beautiful mother. So when they landed Tsunami found herself on top of Naruto whose hands ended up between them groping her breasts and their lips pressed against each other which Naruto took advantage of by letting his tongue enter Tsunami's mouth while she was still a bit dazed by what happened. As she was recovering from what happened Tsunami unconsciously returned to kiss she was given the same way and it wasn't until 5 seconds later that she realized what she was doing and quickly got off while trying to shut her out an apology. Calm down Tsunami-chan you have not done anything wrong besides. I must say I like getting kissed by a beautiful woman like you. Naruto says as he gives her a lustful look while Hinata moved behind her and placed her arms around Tsunami and gave her a special kiss on her neck. The kiss was filled with medical chakra that made her more aroused and sensitive which is why Tsunami would have moaned out loud when he and to gave one of her tits a squeeze if Naruto hadn't put his lips to hers kissing her like before. You know I talked with Naruto-kun about our conversation with Haku last night and the two of you agreed to show you the pleasure that you deserve and make our stay here more enjoyable for you. Hanada whispered into Tsunami's ear before starting to nibble on it and then her neck. Yeah it would help lessen the pain you must feel with wave country like this and you are such a wonderful person that you deserve happiness like this, don't you agree? Naruto asks as he gives the woman's tits a massage making it hard for her to answer. I oh, why yes plea, moan ah, gee give me more, give gasps and moans oh give me m more pleasure and happiness Naruto-kun, hint moan, chan. Tsunami manages to get out. We will sue Chan but we have to stop for now before the others wake up since my sensei would most likely stop us since she wouldn't agree to things like this but don't worry as long as we keep this secret then Naruto and I can show you love like this every night if you do what we say okay, Hanada says to which Tsunami manages to moan out a yes as she finally had an orgasm. 
After all of that Tsunami went to the bathroom to clean herself up while Naruto and Hinata finished with the food. Well that's Tsunami-chan now all we need is to get Haku-chan to join in on the fun and that foursome fantasy of your will become reality Hinata-chan, Naruto said with a smirk to which Hinata smiled blushing at the thought. Dot. With the diva and Kreta paths, things have been going well for two of Naruto's paths that were at the moment hunting down a missing nin who has one of Kiri's seven sword. The Prada Path's mission in Bird Country was a success and the leader of the country survived and after talking with the Prada four things were decided. The first was that someone had poisoned him and that security would be increased. The second was that the Satori Corporation would be allowed to enter the country and add Bird Country to its list of clients. The third was Konoha should be the country's first choice whenever they needed shinobi aid. And the fourth was that Bird Country would join the peace treaty that has been made between Fire. Earth and a few other countries. A nice added bonus is that Naruto had managed to charm Toki the princess so who knows maybe in the future the two of them can have some fun together. Anyway back with the paths that they had just found the person they were looking for. Kenshoru missing Nin from grass country and wielder of the longsword asterisk Nuibari has had a strange feeling all day, a feeling of fear. He hears a sound and turns around and sees the Prada path standing there. He moves his hand to his sword but then the path points at something above him and when he takes a quick look up he sees the diva path floating above him with his hands pointed down. The last thing he heard was Shira Tensai. Dot. Back at Wave. Naruto was bored at the moment as Hinata and Tsunami had gone to the market to see if they can pick up some things but that is not very likely with how poor Wave is now. Honestly the condition of this country made Naruto mad since doing something like that just for money is not right unless it is Naruto who does it. Okay Naruto is starting to see what Kyo meant during their talk about Naruto's sanity. Anyway Naruto was at the moment spying on a large boat with Gato's thugs on it, it doesn't look like there are any prisoners so Naruto won't need to hold back. Naruto was hiding in the shadow of a building near the docks making hand seals. After making them for five minutes Naruto clapped his hands together. Asterisk Hun Sakai no Kai. Naruto said in a low voice as a glass-like cube-shaped barrier surrounded the ship and then disappeared leaving behind only a square-shaped hole in the water which was quickly filled. Why do you keep sending stuff here when you know that you don't need to? Kyo asked in a bored tone as he sat in front of a pair of weird trees in the citadel's garden. You already know why Kyo. The things in my world are only real as long as they stay there and while that is changing letting my world gain more reality I guess you can say it will take a lot of time so I'm speeding it up by bringing stuff from this world into mine and letting it merge with stuff there. That and also the thugs can be used for the different projects like taking their intelligence to improve the archive which with these I believe will reach a whole new level. Their eyes for our latest project and what is left can be used as sacrifices for the Edo Tensai. Naruto answered as he left the docks to see if there was anything else interesting to do when he suddenly stopped for a moment before continuing with a smile as he had one of his paths sit down, meditate and mentally appear in Yumi no Kuni. Dot. A little while earlier, Naruto's spy number 030424 was at the moment sighting on the head of an old man while looking at the young woman that was laughing at the sight while trying to continue eating as the two people were having lunch at the moment. This spy was in the form of a white dove and was currently looking in different directions acting confused. The old man lets out a chuckle as he held up a piece of bread which the spy ate in order to keep its cover as a dumb animal. Hey Shino sensei isn't white doves a sign of peace? The young woman says giggling at how funny it looks. Yes that is correct Amaru but it seems that they're not the smartest creatures into world if this one is anything to go by, the old man named Shino jokes making Amaru laugh a bit. Later once the two finished eating they started walk along the road. We'll be reaching another village in a while and who knows you might end up making a nice young man fall for you, Shino teased making Amaru blush a bit before getting a sad look. Only if they aren't like the guys back in my home village, Amaru says, it was then the spy dove flew away but Amaru was too depressed to care and Shino just assumed that it somehow felt the Ribi react to Amaru's negative feelings and got scared. If only he knew that the dove had abilities similar to that of the human path and while it was sitting on his head it was copying everything he knew. As for the spy it sent what it learned directly to the now improved archive before flying up to find something else. Yumi no Kuni. The diva path was at the moment standing in a large room that had a big orange glass tube going from the floor up to the ceiling, 
there was also a person floating upside down inside the apparently water filler glass construct. The person was a middle-aged man with long pure white hair and dressed in a light green robes light clothing. Think Alistair Crowley from Teru Majutsu no Index. Ah Naruto-sama how nice of you to come so soon after my call, I take it you were here for what I told you I just learned. The man says in a calm and friendly voice. Indeed I have so do please tell me what you have for me this time. Archive. Naruto says with a smile. The end. Remember to subscribe and like this video. See you in the next video.